Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back to Sundered Empire. Um, your resident Britman and token German non-denominational tabletop role-playing game. Dungeon, yes. Dungeon of the Dragons. We played Dungeon of the Dragons. Yeah. I'm the... Hello. He's the token German. All right. Uh, whoa, that's why the cameras are fucky. I haven't had uh, Sirenscape Boy hop in. I was too busy eating and stuff because my food was late. I apologize. Um, so the token German isn't actually on camera right now. I'm also eating. Hi, I'm eating. Hi, Peter. Hello. Yeah, I ordered food, and then I saw them drive 10 minutes in the opposite direction. And I went, oh, okay. <laughs> okay, I guess it's not going to arrive before D&D, &D, that's fine. But then Tommy was late, and then we talked about stuff, so it was all good. It was all good in the hood. Thumbs up. I ordered something a couple of weeks ago, and I watched the delivery driver just, like, through my window, just staring at him, <laughs> watching him go into my neighbor's house. <laughs> <laughs> Clown. What, what did you order on? Because, like, most like fast food places, you can message the delivery guy. Yeah, I think it was Uber, but I just decided to watch. And you just decided, you know what, fuck this employee. They, they don't deserve <laughs> common decency. I was like, by the time I message him, he's going to realise it's the wrong house anyway, so... <laughs> <laughs> At least felt extra devious that day. You straight up did the Toby Maguire. I missed the part where that's my problem. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> I mean, in a way, I guess. Uh, righto. Um, uh, Samo, give us a recap. Look, why me? Can we roll? Fine. Everyone, roll d twenty. And if whoever loses, you can blame Samo for making it so that it wasn't Samo to do the recap. I'm currently learning into film. So. Oh, I, I rolled a 14 anyway. Pete, roll for me. All right, I'll roll for uh, I'll roll for Callum. Wait, no, I'm no, I'm rolling for Callum. Oh, oh 19. Fuck yes. Hey, Callum, you can roll because uh, I rolled pretty low. Uh, <laughs> uh... <laughs> Nice. That was better than what I rolled. You rolled two d20s. Hold on. <laughs> and one of them was a three. This dastardly bastard. I'm sorry. He tried to hide his bad I roll. I actually clicked the button twice. Uh, what was that? No, I That's pressed it. Get enter. your story straight. That's what I did. Shame. I pressed the, I pressed Shame the on you. And then I pressed enter, which for some reason adds another dice instead of rolling. Callum, shame on you. You've brought shame on this on this group. You've brought shame on on this Discord. You've brought shame on this stream. You've brought shame on this party. And yeah, I would say you've brought shame on on D and D and Wizards of the Coast. But to be honest, they did that themselves. So <laughs> when don't I bring shame? Most of the time, you're all right. Anyways, uh, give Aww. us a recap then. I don't fucking remember. <laughs> well, we're not moving on until you give us a recap, so... Um, I cooked drugs. Yep. That did happen. Oh yeah, half the fucking... Oh no. Yep, I cooked no, drugs. I Colin's pissy at me for some reason. Um, we went to a desert place. Uh, Mummy Man's there. Uh, we killed spiders. Alex got really high. Talked to a tree called Darius. I think technically you only spoke to one. I uh, only killed one spider. True. Oh yeah, there was like another weird abomination thing. I even wrote it down on my on my pad. Oh, you can't read it. In all caps, it's like half of the screen. Spiders? Question mark. So yeah. Why no, the question, why mark, question mark? Why spiders? Because I was surprised. <laughs> So I, I put a question mark as well. Okay. Hey, Samo. Yeah. 
If we if we end D and D quickly tonight, do you want to play Hunt? No. <laughs> uh, there is a lot of things I would rather do than play that game. Like. Chewing on sandpaper. Oh man. <laughs> we that bad company. No, I'm not saying I wouldn't want it to play with you. You guys aren't the factor. Samo just I, hates, I can even play other maps. Samo where just the hates Jimmy isn't free there. pistols. I guess. <laughs> Who's that? You're breaking my heart. It's the spider. Yeah, I'm, I'm not playing that map. I mean, I can't. I, I've told you guys before. I, I'm willing to play that map. I'm just not going in there. It's you don't choose the map. Yeah, and the spider can appear on any of them. <laughs> I, I still think one of these days, what I want Hunt to do is introduce um, a uh, roaming monster, or just make the monsters occasionally roam, so that you still like the clues do bring you closer to an area where they'll roam around, but it might be like outside in the forest. Because just imagine well, Samo playing. being like, oh, uh -huh. I, I, know, I know that I can't go into the compounds because a spider might be there, and then he's just walking through a forest and there's just giant cobwebs <laughs> everywhere. <laughs> then I'm a play. <laughs> or at least not have it be the main boss and just have like a really, really, really tough... I mean, the meatheads are pretty boss, tough, to be fair. Like, worse than the meathead. Because the meatheads also technically don't roam. Yeah, that's not true. Not far, anyway. Yeah. Um, anyways, uh, all right, that was a good enough recap. Well done, Cal. Mm -hmm. I said that was a good enough recap. Well done, Cal. All right, nothing but the utmost minimum from me, boss. So, you uh located the river source, and you believe that you have uh defeated the cause of the corruption. You return to the town of Oasis, where the sheriff thanks you for your help, and they gift you each three gold pieces. Take that. Black. Also, you can all have an extra 250 XP. Ooh. Ooh. Hell yeah. Ooh. What are we on now, Samo? We are on 1,000... <clears throat> what was that? 1,970. I enjoy taking that from Samo. It's fine. No, I don't enjoy it because he said it's fine. <laughs> Maybe that was just my tactic. Maybe it did bother Now you got to choose. I don't play my own game, so I <laughs> It just continues. Alright. Anyone want to do anything else while in the town of Oasis? Not me. Nine. What, what did we do? There was drugs. There was drugs. There was the shops. Guy. Obviously, there was the tour guide. For some reason. There was the weird prison that you guys were all obsessed with. Where, like I said, hmm, you should find the source of the river. And you're going, oh, there's a there's a prison cell in that river. We should investigate that. That's clearly it the source of the ominous. river. That's fine. It just wasn't the... You know, a source of a river doesn't tend to be in the middle of the river. Hmm. Pete obviously doesn't want us to go, no. but we should investigate. I mean, you can if you want. Like, what I'm <laughs> saying is that the source of a river tends to be, you know, one of the ends of the river. I mean, fuck it. Now we've cleansed the river, we might as well go have a look at it. Now we can go in the river. Okay. Anyone? Everyone want to do that? <laughs> sure. Hmm. Cool. Samo, go in first. <laughs> I, don't, I didn't even say that I would, was going to do it. I'll watch you guys. You're the tourist. Go in Get first. No, the map's not even fully loaded yet, mate. Well, for me it is. Okay. It is fixed. It's not for uh, the know. stream and for Tommy, but now it is because people are in. Alright. 
you're the tallest, right? I have no clue. And I... Walk. And wait. Yeah, it's up time. Okay, cool. Um... Sorry, bear with me one second. Damn, no one put down the height. Alright, yeah, so you return to the town after having, uh... You have put your height in? My height? Well. Okay. It says... 6'3". Somewhere it says six, point, uh, 6 feet 4. Okay, uh, yeah, it's 6'3", actually, huge. but okay. 6 feet 3, sorry. Uh, and most. Tommy is 5 foot five, fuck six. all. Um, that's what I said. Uh... Atticus and Jericho don't have the heights on, so presumably they are zero feet tall. Uh, Average therefore, five ten, maybe. Therefore, Apollo is the tallest. Well, you go I'll first. Watch. See how deep it is. <laughs> I don't think I will. All right. <clears throat> As you approach the the edge of the water, Tarhan goes, "No, wouldn't do that." Where's that, Tarhan? Because he shuffles over to you mm -hmm. on account of the spookies, he says, doing the Jack Captain Jack Sparrow kind of finger <laughs> movement at you. The spookies, what's that for? No, oh, you don't know the story of the prisoner, do you? Nope. That's why we got to look. I can tell you his tale. A sorrowful tale, if there ever were one. The tale of the immortal prisoner. Locked away for a millennia. His very you get it soul. Wild, you get uh, there's no boat, you'll get all wet. The prisoner, his very soul is bound to this land. Without him in the prison, calamity awaits. His name is ushered in whispers for the crimes he committed. It's quite a long name. Many people have forgotten it. They merely know him as the prisoner. But I've been around a long time, he says, shuffling over towards Aphron. And I will tell you his name. Lean in close if you wish to hear, little ones. I'll, I'll lean in intently. Anyone else lean in? I mean, I'll move forward. I'll stay where I am. I'll lean in real close. <laughs> he seems unperturbed by you doing that. His name is Calvin. Huh? Cal what did he say? Calvin Kensington. I'll write that down. Wait, what did I hear that, actually? No, you didn't hear that. He said it so Fuck. quietly. <laughs> you, you probably do see the others just kind of be like... <laughs> which is basically what Alex's reaction was. <laughs> okay. Uh, also, according to Hero Forge, Atticus is 6'3". Same height as Apollo. Why are you so fucking tall? He's really lanky. <laughs> yeah. Anyways, that's that's the story. He uh, stands back up straight and uh, kind of straightens himself as if he was like doing his tie up if he had a tie. He instead just kind of does up a little wrap of mummy wrap around his neck. Okay. Uh, Valid. Thanks, Diane. Anyway, pay the man, boys. Oh, you're paying me. Excellent, he says, looking towards you, uh, Gore and uh, Aphron. 
I'm just going to turn and walk away. <laughs> ah, well, you're going to pay me, aren't you, Avron? You know what? I'll give him, I'll give him three silvers. Well, cheap hussy. Thank you, Avron. Yeah, get yourself a drink with that. Thank you, Avron. Avron Red Clark. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. Yeah, I'm gonna walk off. So we're just heading back to the 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 the, 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 the airship then. Yeah, I guess so. Uh, wow. Okay, the story of Calvin scared you off, did it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know about a Calvin. Yeah. Good job, Pete. You did it. <laughs> <laughs> The spookies. Yeah, officially, the officially stop us from derailing. I mean, I planned a quest out and everything, but that's fine. The only reason why I deterred you from it last week is I didn't have anything prepped. I have stuff prepped this week if I need to. Yeah. <laughs> but it's up to you. It's completely up to you if you want to do it. In character, you don't know any of this shit. I know, which is why I'm still walking on fucking shit. All right. Hmm. Yeah. Probably for the best, you know, the whole land is tethered to his very soul. They fucking, they said that about that fucking bitch with the desk way back in the first session. What? I don't know, there was some, some guy who was his boss and there was like a desk in the void or some shit. <laughs> was I not there during that Did session? Did anyone follow him? <laughs> I mean, I think I vaguely know what he's talking about, but he's misremembering a lot of the details, but that's fine. Yep. <laughs> yeah, I, don't, I don't remember a desk in the void. No, neither do I. I remember, him, I remember the fact that, you know, the gnome had a boss, but you never met the boss. If that's yeah, what exactly. I remember, yeah, exactly. then that's what Jericho remembers. So. I thought the robot was the boss, but maybe not. Alright, if you're heading back to the ship then, does anyone want to do anything yeah. on the ship, or do you just want to set sail? New I island like, exploration. I would like to rest. Oh, same. Alright. You can all take a long rest then. Very pog. Oh, it loads so quickly now. I'm so happy. Well, have you got like good internet now or something, Samo? Yes. What? what the fuck? Wait, that means we can be playing Hunt. <laughs> yeah, sure. Play. It's New Day. Is it New Day? Uh, it is New Day, yes. Again, I'll play, but... I mean, look, it's not always a bad thing to have someone waiting outside the compound. Sure, I'll be the lookout. You know, quite if he gets handy. shot at, he will be forced to come into the, the room with the spider. So... Nope, I'll, I'll rather die. <laughs> You'll be a better teammate than me that always shoots Alex in the back. <laughs> well, I hate to tell you this, bud, but if that's the uh, the qualifier for being a better player than Callum, then no one is a better player than Callum that Alex has ever played with. <laughs> because Tommy and I also do that. No, that's not true. We sometimes shoot him in the front. Yeah. Well, that's nice. Alright. So you take your long rest. Where your boy's gone. What have we got in the quest tracker? That's I don't know, my map no loady. Um uh, where's... My, my map no loady. You've got to reactivate the gates. Which you still have no idea how to do that, but that's like one of the things you said to do. And there was the whole going to the village of Nightstone. Um, which is that you never got to that island, so. Yo. But there is... How does map there, is that, there is that island above this one, right? Yes, which you, like, I can't remember who you talked to, but someone pointed you in the direction of that island, so you could visit there if you wanted to. It was that w witch in the, in, the, in the tower. Yeah. She, she showed us both of these. Fair enough. So... 
We can go to Yavin. Yavin's, Yavin seems nice. Yeah, I'm down to go to Yavin. Yavin. Yavin, Yavin. Sounds good to me. Yavin spelt with an I. No, Yavin. Yavin sounds good to me. Yavin? Sure, we'll Yavin. go with Yavin. I'll accept Yavin. <laughs> Yavin! Okay, it is. Alright, if that's where uh, you want to head to. You want me to roll navigation? I sure do, bud. Okay. I pressed the roll, but I don't think it did it. Nope. I'll press it once more. One press this time. Oh. One press this time. Oh. Turn around. Everybody just... clap your hands. Um. No one's clapping their hands. Thank you, Alex. For the single no clap. Please clap. I think... Jeb Bush, please clap. Oh, Jesus! <laughs> It did it. You pressed it four times, you impatient sod. And all to roll a nine. Okay, cool. Yeah. We are definitely heading in the right direction. Yeah. Oh, you are no longer flying over the desert. At the end of the day. Uh, anyone want to do anything that day? Um. Oh yeah. Uh, every day I, I would like to read my book. So, however many days this will take. Do you want to keep account of it rather than me? Because, you know, we're in wind journey mode. I don't know how many days it's going to be. Sure. Right. First day. Would Aetheron teach me teach Celestial? Yeah, yeah, go for it. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Where's my phone? I should share my knowledge. In that case... Um... What was I gonna do? I was gonna, I was gonna, I was gonna cook the methy. <laughs> okay. But uh, but I was gonna do that with go around. So I'll just. Uh, I don't know, man. Just sort of my navigator tool proficiency shit. But I do that while flying, don't I? Mm-hmm. We'll, we'll cook the meth next day. Oh, that's fine, man. If you want to learn Celestial, you learn Celestial. I would also I like to cook that meth. That fucking bro. nerd around here. I mean, look, maybe he just wants to be able to name his meth after something Celestial, like naming meth after something French. It makes it sound fancy. Yeah, exactly. That. That's the only just... reason why he learns the language. Alright, well, it's a new day. Mm-hmm. Is new so, day? day number two. Yes, this is day number two. Um, I don't care, I'm roll that navigator's tools. Yeah. Alright. Um, there. Hup, 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 You uh, fly today, and you come towards the evening. Uh, you start to come into view of the city of Shan. Do you want to dock? Do you want to dock in the city of Shan? No. 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 <laughs> We're just going to be wanted again. Or whatever the fuck. Or have. Whatever. I'm going to read. Okay. Um. 
Uh, you wanna cook it a meth? Cook it a meth? <laughs> Go off us to cook the methy with me? I cook it a meth. I cook it a meth. Hey, I don't remember what I got you to roll last time. Um, I think it was Arcana. Alright, let's do Arcana again. I think, off the top of my head. Unless I just quickly give you brewer's supplies, but you're not proficient in them. That would make a bit more sense, wouldn't it? Sure. Actually, I'm not giving you brewer's supplies. I have alchemist supplies. That's what I'm giving him. Oh. Oh, I'm actually proficient in it. Oh. Legendary guy? But it's also intelligence based, so it's basically nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, Calm. Take it away. Alright, can I help with the roll? Uh, you can assist to give a plus two. Right. Do I need to roll for that, or is it just give him a plus two? Uh, you need to roll and get higher than a ten. Alright, but this time. Ooh, I'm going to write down what we do. And then hopefully we can get the same. Maybe something different this time. I don't know. I'm feeling a blue potion. Okay. What about you? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Some blue drugs. And start mixing away and putting, putting, the, putting the stuffs in. What are you doing that? All right, so 14 in total. All right. You spend oh, you the evening. That leaf? You spend the evening uh, brewing your weird, wonderful um, uh, alchemical stuffs, your drugs. And you wanted to go for a blue thing, did you? Yeah. Okay, you keep on brewing until you get a pigment of blue. Hmm. I think this might be it. We should call it Glob. <laughs> glob, glob, eh? Oh, yeah, well. Are they, the, are they the bottom deck again, or...? That is up to them. <laughs> We're just cooking while Colin is just yelling at us to get out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I will find a pork pie hat and a, like a a fake beard, and I will put it on him. You know, we're just we're in there. I'll. I'll Bottle of, bottle of vial of it and look at it in a, a, a light. I mean, do you want to go on a glob? Well, I mean, all of these drugs are really weird names, right? Glob is pretty memorable, I'd say. I glob. feel like we should figure out what this does, then name it. Food. That is a good point. But we'll see. Does Maybe it'll happen? have globular effects. And then we can drop. Alright. <clears throat> well, how are you going to work out what it does? Well, it's your turn this time, Michael. I did the others. <laughs> <laughs> All right, don't have to ask me twice, and I'll uh, I'll down, <laughs> I'll down it. Goal fucking explodes. The uh, the drink kind of numbs your your lips as it passes into your mouth, then it numbs your tongue, and as you try to talk, your thoughts are fogged up, and it numbs your throat as it goes down your throat. And then it starts to numb your stomach. And then all of you becomes numb. 
in your head you hear I've become so numb I can't see anything there. Is it, the, is it the voice of Colin? Go? Uh, oh, fuck, I've uh, killed him. Uh, hit me! Hit me! Did I pass me twice? What? <laughs> Straight in the nose. Okay, roll to hit. <laughs> oh boy! I'm a very strong man, Alex. I apologize in advance. Just nearly in that 20. <laughs> uh, yeah, that hits. Oh, whack. Oh, that is a lot of damage. All right. Um. Yeah. Uh. It, Jericho winds back and punches you square in the nose. Uh, and as a result, Gore. Your nose explodes, similar to when you took a rock to the face, and blood spouts down your face, and it hurts like fuck. Um, you now look, you now look like Danny DeVito in that one episode of Always Sunny. None, none of the pain of it was numbed. I thought my hurts much. Is there any blood? He's spitting out blood as he does. His blood's not in his mouth, but there's so much flowing over his mouth that as he talks, not being able to talk properly, he's just spewing blood and spittle across the floor. Is it bad? <laughs> no, no, but you look great. It's really doing it for you. Like, the blood just... Oh. You're right, you're right, Colin? You look positively sanguine, my friend. Hey. Oh, yes. <laughs> we just like finger gun. <laughs> All right, we should probably get you to bed or something, my guy. You're not looking too good. Okay, <laughs> okay. Yeah. All right, I put my put my arm around him and I'll, I'll slowly limp him to bed. Take me to my toilet. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All right. Question: Is Apollo's door open? Is Apollo's door open, Apollo? Realistically, it would probably be closed. But question: Would you have gone through my room again? No, I would have taken him to his bed. But if your door's open, you would have seen me walk up the stairs with him. No, no, but like. You would have gone downstairs in the first place. Would you have gone through my room at that point? Because I probably wouldn't yes. have gotten up and closed the. Then oh it would yeah, well, I, would have, open. I would have left the door open anyway. Yeah, then it, there's a good chance it would be open. Yeah. Cool. Hey, uh... oh, why am I all the way over here? Because your token was still there from before. Wee! Oh my god, he's in my room. <laughs> as it like as we come up the stairs, then and Apollo yeah. like. Just Apollo looks is reading his book, which I'm just like slowly dragging him across the. I'll, I'll just kind of like look up and give him a thumbs up. Yeah, wait. Drugs! <laughs> I just look at them. Close the door. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I think we've got away with that one, Apollo. Go on. <laughs> Alright, come on, bud. Maybe, maybe it took some time for the numbness to set in, and I push him into his toilet. <laughs> okay. You feel that? He does feel that as he stumbles to the ground. <laughs> All right, buddy. Uh, write down the uh, write down the side effects, and I just close the door. <laughs> um. Gore, roll me an insight check. Okay. While you guys do that, I'll go blue real quick. Right. Okay. Look. Okay. Um, you fall asleep before you manage to make any note of any other side effects. Cool. I'll go back down and uh, clean up. I don't know. I I assume we didn't just make one potion out of all that shit. 
we did. We're, we're, we're 14, I'm afraid you did. Okay, that's fine then. Yeah, I'll clean up. It's all right, though. I've saved it for future reference. So if you make it again, since you said you wrote down how you made it, yes, you can do. replicate it. Um, you just yeah. don't know what it does currently, <laughs> other than yeah. make someone's insides and tongue feel numb. Um, all right. Anyone want to do anything else that evening? What a good night. I will just be on standby to teach Alex things. Well, I don't think you're teaching him anything that night, but okay. <laughs> not that night, definitely not, no. You just hear a ruckus downstairs, and then you're just like, <laughs> yeah, I'm, yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah. I'm sure that's fine. <laughs> Alright. Give me a, another Navigator's Tools then for the next day. Oh, yeah. Alright, hey, that's pretty good. Is it day three already? Yes. Um, alright. Um... Callum, can you move yourself over to the wheel on the ship? Oh, yeah, hang on. Runs upstairs. Fuck you, Apollo, you nerd, reading that fucking book. I like to think that Jericho just hopped over the map table as well. Yeah. <laughs> While saying that, he just ran through. Fuck you, you fucking nerd reading that book. <laughs> Not a single minute. <sighs> Close the door again. Alright. So this is during the day. Let's mm -hmm. just work out what time it's going to be. God, it better not be 1 o'clock. Nope, it's going to be at 11am. Uh, so where would people 11? be at 11am that the next day? Uh... Gosh. I'll be on deck, I guess. Just chilling. <laughs> How's he feeling? Um, he feels fine. He's going to have healed from his uh, injury of his nose, but there's probably still a cut on the bridge of his nose, and it's still probably a little bit swollen. I'll just be chilling up front. So, really no high from, from it? Well, not, not from what I can remember. Although I did fall asleep. Maybe there would have been some effects afterwards, but... Yeah, no, that was probably the concussion. Possibly, yes. Yeah, I'm sorry, man, but you just said to punch you. I, I genuinely thought it might do something. Honestly, my whole body was numb. Didn't think I'd feel a thing. Apart from the parts that weren't numb, which was... The outside. Yeah. Okay. Well, I mean, we can, we can work on it. Yeah. Mm. I'm gonna I mean, need more supplies, though, because we, we used it all. Hopefully when we get to the next place, we'll uh, be able to find something to put together. It's rainy as shit. Yep. Uh, Apollo and Aphron, what would you guys be doing at 11 a.m.? Um, reading. Alright. It's still the third day, right? Yes. Can you know what? Paladin, I'll go with praying. Alright. Well. Who keeps opening my Got door? A couple of wet blankets here, how you go? It's fucking me. <laughs> He's uh, like, Jericho. Dear God, please deliver me unto that child so I no, may no, no, finish no, no, the no, job no, no. off. <laughs> I'm a paladin of Udalus. I, I worship Udalus itself. Oh. Okay, dear planet. <laughs> no, 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 no. 
Dear Broken Island. Dear Broken Island. There we go. Deliver Please me unto the child so I can finish yeah. the job off. Put me in the right direction <laughs> of that child. I need to smite him. For, for personal reasons. Uh, Jericho and Gore, since you're out on deck then, roll me perception check. Uh-oh. Gotcha, boss. Stink. Pretty good. Gore, as you're standing, like, near the, the edge of your, your ship, possibly, like, leaning over the railing or whatever, you look out across the, the sundering, and... In the clouds, something is moving vigorously, violently, towards the ship. You squint your eyes a little bit more and you realize it's not something, it's not a creature or a ship or anything like that. It is the movement of the clouds themselves violently torrenting towards you. It is a maelstrom. Uh, Jericho, uh... Hmm? We may be in for a spot of trouble. Believe that is a maelstrom. I don't know what a maelstrom is exactly, but I'm pretty sure of that's it. And as he finishes his sentence, <laughs> it collides with the side of the ship. Oh shit, you what? <laughs> uh, dexterity saving throws, uh, everyone. Everyone? Mm hmm. Do I get like. Nope. Advantage because I'm so. No, you're reading a fucking book. <laughs> Yeah, fuck all. 50, if only that knowledge saved you as you're tumbling across the floor. And Don't April. Chilling. Excellent. <laughs> He's too busy thinking about that boy. Alright, Jericho. Yeah. As the storm hits uh, the side of the ship, you brace just in time, clutching onto the wheel. It basically almost knocks you to your feet but you're holding onto the wheel so instead you just cause the ship to veer off violently to the side <laughs> while the tornado then comes in rather than hitting just the side it's now hitting the underbelly of the ship but you're on your feet um gore you get sent flying into the wheel and you're going to take two points of damage from the spoke of a wheel hitting you in the small of your back probably very painful oh kid hell Uh, that's been and I then token. cling on to the wheel. <laughs> sure. Um, Apollo, you're sat down at yes. your desk. You suddenly hear like a wild torrent of wind, and then this door starts violently opening and closing, which then causes this one to violently open and close. All of the loose paper, the sheets, the map get flung up into the air, but you, being sat down, basically just get shoved ribs into the desk, which is a bit painful, but not enough to cause damage. Um, Aphron, how do you pray, boy? Uh, I, 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 <laughs> I pray on the bed, you know, I've got my knees next to the bed, I've, I've got my hands like that, elbows on the bed, and like a little boy. Okay, um, you suddenly get flung off your knees into this wall, and at that point, you're going to take five points of damage. Oof. But hey, at least you land on your bed uh, after that, uh, which causes the feet of the bed to break underneath you. You should have been thinking about that boy's hole. That's... All right. Uh, how are you going to respond to this? Let's start with Jericho. Um... Okay, well, I don't know how to fight this, so we're gonna keep on going. <laughs> okay, so you'd like to roll navigator's tools then? Yeah. Okay. Cool, what are you doing? I am just gonna cling on to the wheel for dear life. Okay. Apollo, what are you doing? I would like to jump after the wherever the fuck the map is right now. No, it's just, uh, like, kind of caught up in the uh, leg of that bed now. Okay, well, then I'll hurry over, grab the map, and then, I don't know, maybe grab onto something. I don't know. Alright, Aphron? 
I am going to. There's not a lot of things to hold on to in this room. I'm, I'm, I'm just gonna lay flat on the floor, okay. holding on to a fucking uh, like floorboard or something. Okay. Um, Jericho, you try and gain control of the ship, but unfortunately, when the wind initially hit the ship. It sent you to violently turn the ship so that basically the tornado hit the underbelly of the ship. It's still hitting the underbelly of your ship, and so despite your best efforts to try and turn the ship away, um, in doing so, you feel the wind of the tornado pick up even more underneath the ship until the ship is now, rather than at that sort of angle, it's at that sort of angle. Oh, this is not good. Uh, can you make me strength saving throws, Gore and Jericho? Okay. Okay, Jericho, you managed to hold onto the wheel, stopping yourself from starting to fall. But Gore, your strength is not enough to hold onto the wheel. Your grip slips, and you start to slide towards... There. This uh, wall, by the way, is probably about three, four feet tall. So, right. with the ship at that sort of angle, that's a three or four feet wide floor for you to stand on, basically. Okay. So you're not gonna not gonna just fall off suddenly. But if it continues to pitch, you might. Apollo. Yeah. What were you clinging on to again? Uh, probably just. Like, maybe my bed? Okay. Because that's where the map was. Mm -hmm. Good news is, your bed's well designed as the designed captain's bed. It's actually bolted to the wall. Uh, okay. And can even be, like, flipped up against the wall if needs be. So, uh, it's not going anywhere. Um, and you don't need to pick a strength saving throw. You're kind of hunkered down, arms wrapped around the, the leg of the bed. You're pretty good. Aphron, you're just lying flat on the floor, right? Mm-hmm. Without taking any damage or anything, just you basically slide back so that now you're like half pressed Wee. against the wall. Okay. I'm chilling. But, Aphron does have motion sickness as previously established. Oh. Or seasickness. <laughs> Constitution saving throw, bud. He's throwing up his guts. Well, you don't throw up yet. I think you're really regretting taking that on as a bit. No, 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 I do not regret it one bit. <laughs> one Jericho. day I'm going to throw up on one of you guys. Never mm. navigate his tools then. Okay. I got this, guys. We're fighting the weather. Fuck. God Hell. damn you, Stratos, you bust! <laughs> hey, uh, Jericho, roll me a perception check. Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Mm -hmm. And another strength saving mm -hmm. throw, please. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, now both Jericho and Gore make me a perception check as Jericho loses grip of the wheel and starts to slide along the floor as well. Uh, okay, you both see that the wheel is now, without Jericho's input, spinning wildly on its own. Now, if you want, you can roll me an insight, or if you know what that possibly implies, that's fine too. I think I know what it implies. Okay. We about to go upside down. Apollo, you're still holding onto your bed. Aphron, your legs start to go up above your head. Oh god. Constitution okay. saving throw, please. <laughs> yeah. Okay, you're not thrown up yet. Good thing too, because if you did, you were going to throw up onto your crotch. <laughs> Which would be above your head, so then that it would just drip back into your head. Yep, that's exactly what I expected. <laughs> yep. 
All right. Well, no one can grab the wheel anymore, so Atticus, uh, you can make me a dexterity saving throw rather than a strength saving throw as the ship is now at that angle. Right, okay. Okay, you manage to, as the ship continues to teeter, you kind of plant your feet on the wall here right before you go off the edge, you start to kind of stumble over, seeing the abyss, and your hand just, on its own, grabs hold of the rope holding this crate together, uh, these crates and barrels to the wall, and that stops you from falling over the edge. Okay. Jericho. Yep. Your choice, strength for dexterity saving throw. Strength, please. Okay. Okay. As the ship pitches from that sort of angle to that sort of angle, you're no longer sliding. You fall the last 15 feet. Uh, your arm and leg hit this four feet to a wall. Um, and you're going to take six points of damage as you do. But the good news is with your strength saving throw is that you clamp on as you collide. And you're basically half off, half on, dangling over the edge of the ship. But you are holding on. Um, Apollo, at this point, you are, rather than hanging on at an angle, you are hanging on, basically, over your head. Yeah, okay. Pointing to the wall, so I'm going to need a strength saving throw from you as well. Uh, da -ba -da -ba -dum. strength. Bam. Okay, you hold on. Stick. Aphron. The good news is, is that you all that can happen from your perspective is you just continue to roll over. So you're now facing the wall, kind of no longer on your back, you're on your belly instead, lying on top of this wall. Uh, but one last constitution saving throw. Yep. This is the one, boys. Nope, you hold on. And with that, the wind of the tornado continues flying off in the opposite direction. It's hit your ship and it's passed. But you're not out of the danger zone yet. Your danger ship is still yeah. on its side. Um, <laughs> yeah, and I was just about to ask. <laughs> it's going to start writing itself one way or the other, whether it continues to flip all the way round or starts to go back the other way. It's uh, kind of a certain degree of luck and weight distribution, so... Jericho, what are you doing while hanging onto the edge? Well, I'd like to get back up onto somewhat solid footing. Okay, that will be an athletics check then. Okay, you manage to uh, very cautiously swing your other leg onto the, the wall and pull yourself back over so that you're now standing on, as I say, like a four feet wide wall. Mm -hmm. Lovely. I'd like to go in my bag and take out my other hand axe so I have two hand axes at the ready. Okay. Um, and I assume that I won't be able to do anything until next turn. So. Okay. Uh, Gore, you're almost like an abseiler poised to go down an abseiling wall, holding onto this rope to your side, looking over the abyss. What would you like to do? Uh, so, is the rope, like, bound to the, like, box and barrels, or has it got, like, a bit of, sort of, leeway? It's got a tiny bit of leeway, but basically, the rope is attached on a hook here, and a hook here to the wall, and is fairly tight to keep that box and barrel from going flying across the deck if a scenario like this were to happen. So okay. there's maybe like you know, you could kind of tug it that sort of far, but not much further. Um Oh, whoops. Um back A backpack is a leather pack carried in the back, <laughs> typically with straps to secure it. It's, it's good. How do I see what's in the backpack again? Um, you... Edit? Yeah, you go into the edit field for it. Uh... And then, uh, in... No, not in the edit field. What? Is it not? No. Hold on. Wait, let me check. 
I'm forgetting as well. Hold on. Inventory. Well, I swear it was added though. I looked into my backpack last session. That's why I was so certain it was edit, but Hold on. This is very strange. Like, I legit can't even see the the module. Oh. second the camera's gonna go a bit fucking on stream I don't give a shit know what I mean yeah what the fuck Tom I to I'm still here Tom's <laughs> dead R.I.P. I can't believe Tom died uh, that's incorrect. We'd miss you if you were gone, Tommy. Who else would we have to abuse? Good point. Uh, I guess the next person would be Alex. Well, no, it'd be Samo. Come on, let's be real. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> it's very strange. I I don't know, mate. Uh, 
I can't even find what the module would have been called in the past, but it seems to me... Like, it's half behaving correctly, which is the strangest thing. It's just not actually showing. The only thing I can think of if it's really, really important and you don't remember what was in your backpack um, is I can turn the server off real quick, update all the modules and see if that fixes it. I was just going to look for some rope. I, I like, I imagine have I have rope. You're 99% certain you have 50 feet of hemp and rope, so that's fine. Yeah. Um, yeah, in that case, um, I'd like to take the rope off my backpack um, and, like, see if I can tie one end to, like, the boxes or, you know, the rope on the boxes and then the other end around my waist. Okay. It would probably be easier to tie the rope to the rope around the boxes and barrels if that's what you're okay with doing. Yep. Okay. Yeah, I'll do that. Cool. Uh, don't need to roll for that. That's fine. You're probably pretty savvy with tying knots at this point. Um... Okay, then that is Gore's turn. Apollo, what are you doing other than hanging onto the bedpost, or is that all you're doing? Uh, can I, in this position, kind of, since it's since I can like move the bed up, can I? Is there any way for me to do that in my current situation? What do you mean? Sorry. You said that I like because I have like captain's quarters. I could even put up the bed, right? Right. Yeah. No. Uh, you can't really do that because gravity is kind of imposing the bed and keeping it that way. Like, okay. If, if the ship is like this and your bed is like this, you would have to push it all the way up like that. Right. So yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. Right. 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 Um. Sam's new goal: kill gravity. Um, also, uh, I've just looked up your character sheet in the interview on Alex. You've got a uh, fifty feet of hemp and rope. So. Cool. Uh, uh, might as well just chill here for now. I'll do another strength check, I guess. Okay, look. Ah. I'm just going to test something real quick on your backpack, Alex, just to see if it fixes anything. Uh, Apollo, you get to continue clinging on for dear life. <laughs> okay, yeah, I do uh, push ups while doing that. Uh, with a 19, a sure. I mean. Yeah, you can Sick. do a pull-up. Excellent. Disavage. Next strength check. <laughs> That's... I'll, I'll take that. Alright, and I was about to call you Grey. Aphron, what are you doing? <laughs> I am just staying in the room. I figure it's a safer place to be right now than out on deck. Okay. Uh... Wait, where am I? Um... Face down, lying on the wall. Yeah, I'll just keep. I'll, I'll just grab on to something, if there is anything. Okay. Okay. Uh. Gore. The, no, Jericho goes. So sorry. The ship, which is at this angle, starts to go at this angle. Oh boy. What are you doing? Uh, this is a railing, right? Yes. Oh boy. Uh, I'd like to get my hand axes in between them. Okay. How? You mean how? Like, hook like, them on? I don't, yeah. want, I don't want to, like, stab them in. I just want to hook them on. Okay, so you're, like, walking along this wall and then trying to hook yes. them in. Um, acrobatics check, just for balance. Oh. My acrobatics. Okay, that's fine. And then you kind of like hook them in between the like banisters, I guess, or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. All right, Gore, your turn. So the way I'm envisioning it, envisioning it is basically like this side of the ship is like above me, yes. right? Yeah. Yep. And so the wheel is like vertical. Uh, to me. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I can't really go around the outside to get to the other side. Um, um, I 
I have no idea if this will work. No. Hmm. Um. Is there, like, these stairs, is there any, like, space underneath them? Or is it, like, you know, sort of walled off around the sides? Yeah, we'll say there's uh, space underneath them. Okay, then I would like to try and... I'd like to try and, like get over this box and barrel. Okay, that would be an acrobatics check. Okay. Yikes. Okay. Um, you fail to kind of climb over them and instead you start to fall. Make me a dexterity saving throw. Oh dear. It's good, good for you had that rope, hey bud. And you miss trying to grab the edge as well. Oh dear. Oh dear. Okay. You haven't finished falling yet, but you're 25 feet away from the ship currently, and the rope hasn't gone tight yet. Yep, okay. What is feather fallen token proc? Hmm? What is feather fallen token proc? Not yet. Also, it did props. say that in the whatever fell skies, uh, probably not as effective, right? Mm hmm. But it still, it still activates at some point. Yes. When you fall at least 20 feet while the token is on your possession. We'll say it's not quite fallen. <laughs> it's more levitating. Just because it would be a waste, and I don't want to waste it. I don't want to be mean. Much appreciated. <laughs> um, Apollo, what are you doing? More pull-ups? I'm doing another pull-up. All right. Bang. Ooh. Okay. How can this effortlessly cool motherfucker go from reading a book in a chair to doing fucking pull-ups <laughs> while the fucking boat literally, is capsizing? Literally just, just reading, then went, Ugh! Ugh! <laughs> pull-ups! <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's me. Hey, Fron, what are you doing? Um, I'm gonna look at that table. Does it look like that table is nailed to the floor? I think it's a ship. It's a good question. Yes, it is. I'm going to try and make it to the table. Okay, how? What? So, um... How steep... So, this, this, right the ship, this is the ship normally. Yeah. With this being the top deck. Mm -hmm. We're currently at this sort of angle. Oh dear god. Um... Well, I'll, in that Dude, case, I'll, I'll just inside. thank Udalus for not dropping that fucking table on me. Um, and I'm going to try and also maybe not tempt fate. I'm going to skim uh, this way, just in case. Yeah, it's a good thing, because I literally rolled a d6 just to see whether I should be mean, and it landed on a 6, which means I'm going to be mean. That's what when I roll a d6, <laughs> that's what that means. Just then, the table suddenly, it's like you go... Ah, wait, is that table nailed to the floor? Ah, oh, good, it is. As you focus on the nails, you just see one of them go... <laughs> and then the entire table comes... Oh, didn't mean to do that. 
uh, the whole table does indeed all come tumbling down. Did I move in time is the question. Yes, yes you did, because you oh. said you moved before I <laughs> rolled. Thank you, Dulos. Thank you, Eudalus. It's interesting that he keeps on thanking Eudalus, but also arguably Eudalus is the one to blame for this. Because he was <laughs> praying to Eudalus and then Eudalus did this. Eudalus needed to cause a catastrophe and Eudalus then save people. Eudalus is like, damn, this room really thinking about that, boy. Also, appreciate the organ music while I'm fucking talking about praying. It's unintentional, it's on shuffle. <laughs> it's Eudalus! It's Eudalus. He's on Mungus. <laughs> There we go. Alright. Jericho, what are you doing? You just saw Gore just plummet over the edge. <laughs> Actually, uh, roll me a perception check real quick. Since you were preoccupied with yourself. You didn't see Gore tie himself down. All you saw oh, was dead. Gore <laughs> fall off the edge. Oh, fuck. <laughs> My drug buddy gone. Hell no. Jesse. He was the only one I wouldn't have killed. <laughs> Do I hear that? Do you hear that? No. <laughs> okay. There's a storm like going on and you're like how many feet <laughs> away from him? The gods are cruel. <laughs> <laughs> Literally 110 feet away during a storm. Did I hear him say that? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Man has a daredevil hearing. Yep, I'm him. Uh, yeah. Um, I don't really know how to bolster the position I'm in without also going over the edge. You know what, fuck it. I would like to try and climb this railing. Okay. Roll me an athletics the check. Axes. Athletics check indeed. Hmm. Spicy. Spice. Hey, Calum, you're a gambling man, right? I am a gambling man. I'll dude. let you re-roll it, but if you fail, something bad happens. Okay. Okay, cool. I'm go oh, okay, no, I rolled good. <laughs> I was about to say I'm coming gore as so I just get <laughs> thrown off the side. Jumps on his shield, jumps off. Alright, yeah. gore. <laughs> you are now 50 feet away from the ship. Um, You tied the rope around your waist, right? Yeah. How tight? Uh, pretty tight. Alright, make me a strength saving throw. Oh my god, it's gonna yank. Oh. Yeah, you've seen The Amazing Spider-Man 2, right? Yeah, I was just about to say, I'm going to be a Gwen Stacy up in this bitch. <laughs> okay. As the rope suddenly goes taut, you do take three points of damage from the whiplash, but not enough to, you know, kill you or anything. And you are now dangling 50 feet underneath the ship. Where would That's the where would the knot right. of the rope been like the the end of the noose would it have been on your front or your back? Probably like front, I'd say. Okay, so you're facing the ship then, like you're looking up at the ship, dangling, okay. like some sort of mobile for a baby, <laughs> or bait for a big fish. I hadn't thought of that. <laughs> Thank you. I hate it. Oh boy, I'm gonna reel him in. <laughs> What okay. would you like to do? Um, it's probably absolutely useless, but can I try and start like pulling myself up the rope? You can try. Um, that'll be an athletics check. You. I don't have the arms for this. <laughs> you you like put your arms on the rope and try and pull your body up, and all you do is just kind of like overexert yourself and go. I feel like I'm gonna shit. <laughs> like you literally can't pull yourself into a point where you're now going up the rope. You're just kind of like 
Miley Cyrus yeah. sing it at the moment. Man, man's just like, okay, I'll just go limp. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I wish I had more drugs. <laughs> Apollo, what you doing? Um. Yeah, I don't. I don't know what I can do. I'll make a one arm pull up with disadvantage, I guess. Okay. That's sick. Oh no, that was with advantage. Sorry. That so I would take the lower of those two rolls. Uh, that's twelve plus 12. six, so eighteen. Yeah, you still do a one arm pull up, you dick. Sick. Hey, from what are you doing? How's that table landed? Um, it like hit the bed. And then, like, mm -hmm. flung up into the wall, like, even more violently. And is, it is now. One piece? Yeah, it's got, yeah. like, it's a bit damaged, uh, but it's still mostly in one piece. Is it. Ow. Like, is the top <clears throat> of the table against the wall? Yeah, sure. Okay. <laughs> I'd like to uh, climb back over there, because I'm worried that table's going to come flying at me this way if the ship moves. Um. I am going to climb to the table and hold on to the legs underneath it. Okay. So that if I get sunk, sent flying, I've either got the legs that are going to hit break the fall for me, or I've got the front that are going to break the fall for me. I'm going to turtle show with the table. Okay. Jericho, what are you doing? It's, it's a shame there's no land to see, like, because obviously I take the ship's still moving, right? Mm hmm. Yeah. I've put a video of it on what Gore currently looks like, so... you have to watch that later, Pete. But what am I doing? I'm continuing to climb. Like Miley Cyrus is the climb. Damn, we've got two Miley Cyrus references in here. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen that video before. Hey, that's pretty good. Hey. Uh, Jericho, you... You continue climbing until you're about here. And then what would you like to do when you get there? What was your next move? So I could be a gambling man and try and jump to the fucking wheel. I mean, you rolled a nat 20. Yeah. Or I could save myself and just hide under the stairs like Alex said. <laughs> <laughs> What's you know, it gonna be? I'll do it. I'll take a leap of faith. You take a leap of faith, you push As off... As I am a gambling man. You push off uh, against the deck. What's danger? And you grab hold of the wheel. Okay. You grab hold of the wheel. Yeah! Roll me a perception check. Uh... I mean, this probably could work very badly if we're tipping it over. But... Okay. You don't perceive anything. Off note. Okay. Uh, Gore, your turn. Okay, um... Can I try pulling myself up again? Sure. Nah, bro. Let it take you. Go limp. Do pull-ups just like me. You're <laughs> not doing pull-ups just like... Yeah. Apollo. I think I, I think I need to do some if I survive this. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's your next uh, downtime activity. <laughs> Just get absolutely jacked so I can pull myself up on a rope. Uh, yeah, I, fuck it. Then I, I will just go limp and I'll just kind of like... <laughs> I'll just kind of sit back and wait. Not okay. particularly frightened, I'm just a bit peeved off. Apollo, you're done. I want to do an ar one arm pull up while looking at the map. Okay. Just for the sake wow. of the... Yeah. Disadvantage. Let's fucking go. You suddenly Fuck. lose your grip on the uh, on the leg, and you fall. How much do I fall? Um, you fall twenty five feet, okay. which is enough to do two points of damage to you. That's not too bad. Easy. Um, what's your reaction as you start to fall? Um. I don't know, just brace and keep the map in my head, I guess, maybe. Okay. 
Make me either strength or uh, dexterity saving throw, your choice. Bap. Okay. So I don't know if anyone's ever noticed, because I haven't actually implemented it on the walls, because I only noticed it while during this encounter. There are actually windows, windows in uh, Apollo's cavern. Apollo, <laughs> oh. your leg goes through the window that you just landed in. You stay in the room, but like your leg is dangling through the window, and the ship is at that sort of angle. So you're not as safe as you thought you were anymore. Okay, but I guess that's my turn. Yeah. Yeah. That's why I asked you how you how you prepared because if you were like I curl up into a ball, I'd be like interesting. Yeah, yeah. School <laughs> Apollo goes through school Just goes Apollo. straight. Yeah. <laughs> or if you pencil, potentially, I suppose the other option. <laughs> Maybe not. I'm just hanging there, just like, and I just look over and I just see right. Apollo just pencil diving downwards. <laughs> Uh, Ophram, what are you doing? Holding on tightly to my table. Okay. Jericho, what are you doing? Cool. In, uh, true Marvel movie fashion, muscles rippling, I'll try and, like, uh, move my axes along the wheel to move the wheel opposite direction. Okay. Uh, the wheel turns the really, ship. really easily. Like, no resistance whatsoever. Oh. You can roll me an insight if you don't know what that means. Oh, <laughs> oh. It's not working. Ah. Oh, no. No, I think I understand. <laughs> well, your insight would <laughs> agree to disagree, but maybe Callum understands. No, I un no, Jericho just understands. He's in a terrible predicament. <laughs> Oh, Colin. Cool. Um, shit. What are you doing? I'm just vibing. <laughs> just... I'll just, I'll just kind of, yeah, just like... I'll just, I'll just kind of wait, see. See if anything else happens. i kind of given up climbing. It's never going to happen. Just accept my fate at this point. Nothing more to be done. All right. Hey, oh. Apollo, what are you doing? Uh, I would first like to remove my leg, if possible, from the <laughs> now broken <laughs> window, probably. <laughs> I was going to say, that's a bit of an overreaction. I'm just going to remove my leg then. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my leg went through a window. Got to, got to amputate. It's the only yep. option. <laughs> Cut it off. Uh, yeah, you can no, fairly I... easily remove your leg from the window. Okay. Um, and you I'm can now... just stand on the wall. Exactly, I'm now standing on the wall here, right? So, would I have to, like, kind of climb out to... Um, it's, it's, a, it's a full wall. You can walk along it and just avoid the windows fairly easily, so you don't need to roll anything to do that. Okay, well then I would maybe go over here, if that's somewhere I can stand. Yep. And then I would, like peek up to see what's happening outside. Okay. Yeah, you can do that again without a roll. Just kind of put your arms over the, uh, yeah, the door exactly. frame and you've been doing pull-ups. You can probably hoist your weight to be able to peek over. Mm -hmm. um, so, uh, you look out and you see Jericho at the wheel uh, hanging on for dear life. You don't, uh, you don't see gore anywhere. So, in, in what direction is it turned? To this direction or to this direction? So like, in what direction would this, I fall if I would now go on? This is, this is down. This is down. So... Uh, fuck. How could you ask that when you fell from your bed? Oh yeah, true. It, it's two dimension <laughs> thinking that's three good, dimension, I get it, yeah, it's fine. That's that's a good... Uh, but yeah. Um, that's why I've my character up. So all I see is Jericho struggling over there, and that's all I see. Mm -hmm. hmm. I think I'll wait a turn here. I'll, I'll think about what I'm going to do. Okay. 
Hey, Aphron, you still clinging on to that door? Table. Oh, that door table, sorry. Yeah. I'll be right back. I'll be back for my next turn. Okie doke. Jericho, what are you doing? I don't fucking know. I can't exactly dismount from where I am. Gambling, um, gambling man could, but okay. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. No, stop it. Leave me rotated like I was. Um, ah, oh, fuck it. Can I try and move myself up onto the middle part of the, the wheel? You know, the bit that doesn't turn? Mm hmm. So, like, standing on the base of the wheel, basically. Yeah. Yeah, that'll be an athletics check. Mm, I'll let you roll again with it, um, as basically have it as with advantage because you're using your axes as well. Cool. Okay. Hello. Welcome back. What are you doing now, Jericho? I'm going to prepare to jump. Okay. Gore. You just dangling? Yeah. Alright. Apollo. Um, can I tell from here that something's wrong with the steering thingy? Um, yeah, roll me a perception check. Perfect. Nah. Nah, unfortunately not. Too much fog and rain. But I, I like what I can see is that Jericho is kind of struggling with it, right? Like that's general... he, well, he's no he's no longer even struggling on it. He's now climbed so that he's standing on the base that like holds the wheel. Okay. Well, uh, I guess I'll go back the other way if mm -hmm. I can without rolling anything, and I'll start making my way down to Colin. I don't know how much mm -hmm. I can move every round, but I'm sure you will tell me. Um, for your current situation, if you're just going along this wall, you could do your normal 30 feet. Uh, so you'd get to about there. Okay. Sweet. And that will be my turn. Alright, Aphron still holding onto your table? Correct. Okay. Well, Jericho, back to you. Okay, I'm gonna jump. Where are you jumping? Um, I'm gonna jump. To here. Alright, that'll be another athletics check. Okay. That was dramatic lightning just then. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you, you literally do... You've seen the Dark Knight Rises, right? Yes. You know the rise, 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 <laughs> rise. Yeah, it's that scene. But the good news is it's the scene where he gets out. He makes the jump rather than all the scenes where he Excellent. fails and breaks his back. Um, yeah, you you do a leap and you like hook your hand axes into the corner of the railing here uh, so that you're now hanging onto them and then you can use them and your feet to kind of get a better p uh, position. Okay. <sighs> oh, man, I'm sure Go would want me to do this. <laughs> Meanwhile, Gore, just vibing. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Gore is just slowly spinning around as well, just like... <laughs> no thoughts in that man's head, just a vibe. <laughs> he's still drugged up? Nope. No. No, he's just accepted his current situation. It's just the brain rot. All right. Apollo, your turn. Uh, yeah. Oh. Uh. Just... Okay. Um, give me. So you're moving on beyond that, are you? Yeah, I will want to move another. Okay. How are you moving on when you get beyond this door frame? I would just move along this door, I guess. Okay. Um, 
Right. As you drop down a little bit, you can try and slow your descent and do it cautiously, but as you drop down, you are going to land with some weight on that door, and it's a door. So, dexterity saving throw. Nice. You jump off the door just as it swings open. Aphron, the door to your bedroom swings open, and you could have sworn you just saw some legs just at the last moment. <laughs> Are you all right up there? Uh, yeah, I'm. I'm all right. I'm chilling. You're chilling. Yep. I'm gonna go talk to Colin. Want to come? Um, am I able to? If you can work out a way to climb up that wall, which is your floor, then yes. Um. Can you toss something down? Sure. I do have rope on me as well. I do know that. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm like really that. glad you didn't just throw a chair down or something. <laughs> <laughs> sure, throws sure a hand axe at you. <laughs> sure, use this, throws double bed. <laughs> <laughs> or fireball. That's the thing you could throw at him. Yeah, for. I have that. Yeah. Yep. Alright, you throw some rope down to Aphron then. Yep. Yeah, 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 yeah. Aphron, you can roll an athletics check uh, with advantage if you want to try and abseil up the wall. Can I help by pulling him up? That that will give him advantage, basically. Oh, okay. That and he can basically, um, yeah, purchase against okay. the, the wall. It's not just all upper body strength. Oh. Well, Maroon is alright. Uh, athletics, but with advantage. Cool. Cool. You can move 15 feet up. I, I take it there. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. All right. Back to Jericho then. Okay. I keep ascending the railing. Okay. That's fine. How far do I ascend? 15 feet in whichever direction you're going. Look at all these people succeeding their athletics checks except for Alex. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I have a plus six at so I know, but it's just I like... Think. Yeah. And also, Pete, mm -hmm. the angle you're saying, it's not totally 180, it's just a bit over, right? So, yeah, it's, like, slightly over. Yeah. So, essentially, this deck isn't a straight wall. It's at an incline. Yeah. Okay. Um, Gore, you vibing? Yep. All right. Apollo. Still helping um, uh, Aphron up? Yeah, he's pretty close to me. Can I give him, like, my hand for the rest of the way? Sure. During my turn. Cool. Then I will do that. Thanks, right. bro. Then athletic check Aphron with advantage again. Cool. That's still enough since he's giving you his hand. Alright. He pulls you up and you can... I'm going to let you Ooh. both move uh, another 15 feet after this point. Sick. Thanks, yeah, buddy. Probably still be open. Not a worry. Bah. Okay. Uh, since your movement included going over another door, Apollo, another dexterity saving throw, please. Yo. I'm just going to go to the loo. Okay. Yo. Uh, okay. The door swings open, but you manage to get off in time. Uh, Aphron... The door is now open, so you can't stand on it. So what are you going to do? Or are you going to wait there for the moment? Um, am I, I not able to try and close the door? Uh, it would open into the room, so... Yeah. Can um, be done, but not particularly easily. And then also, it'll probably give way underneath your weight as well, so... Can I just try and jump up and grab on when Apollo's not in the way? Yeah, you can do that. It's just currently oh. Apollo is in the way, so... Yeah. I'll wait. Okay. Should 
realize there's a smarter way for me to be doing this. Uh, Jericho, what are you doing? Keep ascending. Okay. Another 15 feet. Cool, I guess I'd get to here before I can pull myself up. Yeah. Yep. Okie doke. Uh, Apollo is... Not Apollo, sorry. Gore is AFK, but I'm assuming he's just going to continue vibing. Probably. Alright. Apollo, your turn. I'll just be jumping down. That's not a dexterity check, right? Nope. Pop off. Uh, I get 30 feet now, right? Yep. This Especially is also not a dexterity check. It's this correct. Whole. Probably also advantageous that you leave your doors open most of the time, because actually to kind of like hop up and open these doors would probably be not the easiest thing in the world. That is actually true, yeah. <laughs> should keep doing that. Uh, Aphron, your turn. I'm going to try and make the jump. Okay. That will be an athletics check then. Oh boy. Oh, oh. I fucking knew that was gonna happen. <laughs> Alright, you do That's a similar leap of faith. That. And just like before, you hear the rise, 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 rise. <laughs> and you jump, grab the door frame, and just grab it for a moment. You start to pull yourself up, and you just feel your sweaty hands just go. <laughs> and then you fall all the way back into this broom closet. Oh, thank God, it's not as big as I thought. You take six points of damage, however, because you land on a bunch of, like, brooms and stuff, which is not the most comfortable thing yeah. to land on. Understandable. Uh, Apollo, you probably hear it. Ah. Ah. All right. Jericho. Okay. Um. Right. I would like to disconnect the rope that's holding this cargo. Okay. How? That's undo okay. or gonna cut it? Uh, I will probably cut at 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 the end that's tied, just for you know ease of getting it free. Mm -hmm. Um, and then I'd like to use that to tie myself. Okay. Uh, two barrels and a crate go flying off the edge of the deck. Uh, Atticus, give me a perception check. Okay. Better go limp, bud. Okay, you see two barrels and a crate just go flying off of the edge of the ship over here. Uh, I think Foundry's booked. I'm gonna have to refresh. Okay, basically not directly on top of you, but not far from right. you either. <clears throat> Do they have rope attached to it? No, they don't actually. Okay, thank god. Okay, and then you're trying to tie yourself up with the leftover rope, Jericho. Yes. Okay. Right, Gore still vibing? Uh, yep. Just, just quickly, how much rope would there how much rope? Probably like 15 feet, not a lot. Okay, cool. Uh, I won't tie myself, I won't keep myself tied there, I will just tie it to my waist so I have rope on my person. Okay. Um, tie to something if I need to. Got it. So yeah, Gore, you still vibing? Yeah. Okay, Apollo, your turn. Um, I want to go back. <laughs> okay. Because I heard uh, ah. that. Um, so I know that the closet thing is like on the other side of this, right? So I could just eat my rope over and it would just fall into the room, basically? Sure. Then I'll just do that. Okay. Um, just give me a dexterity check. Sure. Just because there's a chance um, that it doesn't go all the way into the room or whatever, like it lands on yeah. the wall or whatever. 
not a saving throw. A yeah, just a check. Uh, okay, Ephron, you see some rope get hoisted over the doorway and land here. Nice. Grab onto that. Oh, thanks, bro. What are you waiting for? I will grab onto that. It's out of reach. It's not in <laughs> your room. Oh. It, it went... Basically, the path of, of that rope, Tommy went like this. Went... Yeah. Huh, huh, huh. Uh, you can try and, like, parkour your way up the wall and, like, jump and grab it or something, but it's Can not... I grab a broom or something and try and parkour, parkour a little bit and whip it down? Okay, so you're going to grab a broom and then, like, try and use the broom head to, like, hook on... Okay. Yeah. You feel behind you, you grab the broomstick, you pull it out in front of you, and it's about that much stick and then broom head because you landed on it and snapped it. Oh. <laughs> Can I just throw the broom head and <laughs> try and knock it down? <laughs> sure, roll me a dexterity check. I know exactly how this is going to end. <laughs> With a broomstick in your eye? It's just gonna come straight back down. Yep. Saving or ability? Uh, check. So ability. Yeah. So I've got two of the three stooges in a fucking broom closet. A guy vibing. Just in. <laughs> no, fucking... I'm not in the closet. <laughs> I'm outside of the closet. Uh, all right. It doesn't hit the rope. Uh, and then roll me another ability check. Excellent, and now roll me a saving throw. Brilliant. Are you fucking kidding me? Now this is a once in a lifetime. <laughs> All right, Apollo, and you that see. that one to fall into the fucking closet. <laughs> Oh, oh yeah, it's free on screen all at the same time. It's beautiful. <laughs> fucking D and D, D and D, one D and D fucking sucks. It's all that. It's all their fault. Okay. Fucking wizards. <laughs> uh, fucking you, wizards. Apollo, you see a broomstick handle go flying up uh, into your view and then fall right back down, and then you just hear a, oh shit, <laughs> and then you hear the sound of a body hitting the ground, and then you don't hear anything else. <laughs> A front, you have knocked yourself <laughs> unconscious. <laughs> I deserve Is it this. my turn or? Uh, no, it was your turn to throw the rope, so that's. We're going back to Jericho oh, yeah, now. Right. <laughs> right. I would like to pull myself up. Okay. Onto the side of the ship. Okay, roll me an. No, an athletics check, please. Nice. You hoist yourself over the edge, deftly, and as you're doing that, the ship's angle goes from like that to I'm going to have to turn turn the orientation of my hand. This is now the top deck, and this is the bottom of the ship. Okay, it's now at this angle. <laughs> so it's completely 180. Yes. So right. you did that, that in the nick of time. You are essentially yeah. standing I... on the bottom of the ship. Yeah, C can I can I do stuff or not? Yes, you can do stuff. Okay. Um, right. As I'm um, as I've got on a feel for the ship, Pete. Mm -hmm. Do I know which sail orientates the boat? Uh, you can either roll me navigator's tools or insight. Okay. Or, if neither of those take your fancy, you can take a wild guess with a survival roll, but with disadvantage. Hmm. Also, this is a fucking great song. Well, I do have I do have a idea. Hold up. I want to get a confirmation. Well, you're pretty sure it's that sail. Definitely that sail. Okay, well, I thought it was going to be this sail, but... No, it's, it's definitely this sail. That navigator's always confirmed this... it. 
I'm assuming this sail makes us go up and down, and this sail makes us turn around. -y. No, 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 it's definitely the other way around. <sighs> Why did I roll? Why didn't I just assume? Okay, well, in that case then, I'm going to move up to here. Mm -hmm. and, and you're out of rope slack. What? You had 15 feet of rope. You were out of that 15 feet. Yeah, tied feet. to myself. I thought you had it like tethered to the hook. And well, then to yourself. No, I just have it tied to myself. And not tied to anything else on the other end? No. Okay. I'm going to tie it to something. Okay. Just... No, that's fine. Whatever that is, I'll I'll decide. I misunderstood. But that's fine. Cool. Um. Yeah, I'll I'll wait here a little. Okay. Uh, Gore, could you give me a perception check? Okay. Okay, you are, okay, first of all, let's, uh, hold on. Because you're now essentially above the deck. You are now essentially, uh, no, you'd be here, sorry. You're essentially there, but dangling 50 feet below it, or above it, right. depending on your perspective. You notice with that perception check um, that... The balloon of the ship that kind of you know keeps it up in the air is starting to rise up towards you. So, if this is the ship and this is the top deck of the ship, you're dangling here. The balloon is here, coming up towards you. Oh, oh, <laughs> that's a problem. <laughs> Doing anything on your turn? No, I'll wait for it to come to me. Okay. Cushioning. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna certainly cushion something. Uh, Apollo, your turn. Um, you know what? I tried my very best. <laughs> I'll just. <laughs> yeah. Uh, can I double move? Actually. Uh, you can, but I'll make you do a dexterity saving throw to keep your footing. Okay. Um. So basically now I'm on... How would stairs work now? Because basically they should the stairs should be on the ceiling. Yeah. I mean, you're on the ceiling as well, really. I mean, yes, but the stairs are above me, basically. Yes. So essentially it would be more of a slide because the ceiling will, is also going to slope down with the spiral staircase. So rather right. than having stairs so... to walk on, you have a slide to walk on. Cool. Uh... I'll just slide down then, I guess. Okay. Pool. Boom. And then... How know, are you sliding? On your feet? On your bum? On my bum, probably. Okay. Oh, wait. Nice. No, on my feet. Now, that would be cool. Okay, uh, dexterity uh, saving for then. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> I have to make it cool. Come on. Hey, you do it. Sick! That will probably be the end of my trend, or not? Yeah. Uh, yep. just moving okay. you onto the other map when it loads for me. Okay. Cool. Uh, Aphron, give me a const. Oh, he's not here. I'm here. G get back to your character sheet real quick and give me a constitution saving throw. Oh, man. 
Okay, you wake back up with a black eye and you've taken two points of damage. And you are now on the ceiling. Oh boy. With a broken broom handle oh next boy. to you. Well, this isn't good. I am gonna walk across the ceiling. Mm hmm. Can I move 30? Ah, uh, yes. Why can I not? Oh, press the button as well. Why is this happening? Are you not on the like token select? Are you on measurement or something? There we go. It's working now. I'm gonna run upside down up the stairs. Well, you're not. Down you can't stairs. run on stairs because there aren't stairs. The stairs are on the ceiling. It's a slide instead. How would you like to slide yeah. down the slide? <laughs> like that. Okay. You safely slide down to the bottom. And that's me. Thank you, Derek. Jericho, what are you doing? Second guessing myself. Fair. <laughs> no, I'm not. <laughs> No, you're absolutely positively certain. Okay, um, I fasten the rope that's around my waist onto something. Well, I mean, there's a thing. There's a thing here that connects ropes to the sails. So, well, I'm going to be pulling that. Okay, but you can also tie yourself to it if you want. I mean, sure. Okay. I'll do that as I then manually try and turn the sail to move the ship. Okay, um... So, ship like this, but this is the deck, and this is the back of the ship, or the bottom of the ship, now starts to do this. Sorry, right, boys, I'm going to turn the ship around the most awkward way possible. Cool. The, the, the balloon still be coming for you. Still vibing? Yeah, yeah, wait for the balloon. All right. Um, right, uh, Apollo, give me yes. a dexterity saving throw. Absolutely. Bat. Oh no. <laughs> okay, you as suddenly the ship starts to change in another direction and you start to slide along the ceiling this way. Oh nice. And with a nat one, you do not brace yourself. Um you take two points of damage. Ouch. And because of your nat one, you then kind of roll and pull some <laughs> more. Fucking hell. And, uh... Against Colin. Yeah, oh, wait, make no, me a... On the he, yeah, you're on the ceiling, but he's quite tall, so make me another dexterity saving throw. Oh, right. Uh, okay, as you fall into the room, uh, you hear... You're very disorientated, but you see this flash of blue, and you hear, Oh, hey, prisoner! And then, boom, as your head, helmeted, thankfully, <laughs> collides with the top of Colin. Uh, hi. And you take uh, another six points of damage. Fuck. And then make me just a strength check. Oh, God. Well, strength I'm good at. Oh, strength check, you mean. Mm -hmm. Um. Come on. 
Well, the good news is, you know how I said it was good that you were leaving the doors open because opening the doors would be pretty inconvenient. You don't have doors right. anymore there because you explode through them and continue to slide down this corridor. Bye, prisoner. You hear Colin shout after you. I'll be back. <laughs> Aferon, your turn. Dexterity saving throw, please. Let's see if you follow suit. Oh, nat one, baby. Let's do it. Please, someone has to talk There's to There's so that, many please. nat ones on the screen as well. It's beautiful. Okay. You slide down and just land quite, quite softly against the wall and watches... Oh, thank God. <laughs> ...as Apollo continues to hurtle down the corridor. <laughs> The tin sound ever getting quieter. What are you doing on your actual turn? Um. Hello, Colin. Oh, hey, Aphron. Why are you How upside are you down? That? Well, that's a wonderful question, that. I was wondering if you could help at all. With what? You being upside down, I can't control you. Well, I'm, I'm afraid you're upside down as well, buddy. Mm, if I was upside down and you were upside down, you'd look the right way up to me, but you look upside down to me. Well, perhaps that's just your perception as a crystal. Why? Why are you going to bring race into this, man? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't mean anything by it, Colin. You know, do. biological differences and all that. Mm. Can you help? With 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 what? With you being upside down? The ship is upside down. That would explain things, yes. Right, yeah, see I can I can turn the ship around. Right, everyone give me a dexterity saving throw. If only I didn't do pull ups for three rounds. <laughs> <laughs> me too. Yes. <laughs> Oh my god, what are these roads now, man? <laughs> Fuck! Well, that's a good job I tied myself to the ship, hey? <laughs> Excellent. Aphron, even though you're the one who initiated this, you suddenly fall onto the ground and you're going to take another five points of damage. Uh, Apollo, you also suddenly fall onto the floor and take six points of damage. Am I just dead? No, you're still you're still alive. You're on like half health. You're fine. Half health. We're just being tossed <laughs> around. <laughs> All right. I'm legit almost fucking dead. <laughs> yeah. Okay. You rolled like five net ones in a row. Okay. I mean, <laughs> I'm surprised you aren't. <laughs> so Jericho, you had tied yourself to the basically the side of the ship while standing on yes. the, the bottom of the ship and suddenly the bottom yes. of the ship becomes the bottom of the ship again as the ship goes 180 degrees. Uh, so you're suddenly flung uh, 15 feet away <laughs> from the ship, just hanging over the edge now. Um, make me... Oh, you've already done the roll. Uh, you passed the roll though, so you're not on your feet, but you don't really take any damage from being flipped around. You're just now dangling off the edge of the ship by 15 feet. Mm -hmm. um, and Gore, you grab hold of the balloon just as the balloon comes into range and then suddenly the balloon is above you again and you're now dangling from the balloon rather than holding onto the balloon as it comes up to you. <laughs> and you're about 50 feet above the deck. Uh, uh, can I let go? Yes. Now that the deck is below me. Yes. Good news, it's a 50 it's feet drop. Me. You have a feather token. I would like that to activate. The feather token activates and you float gently down back towards the deck. <laughs> Man, Gore got like the, the sweet deal from this encounter. Yeah. <laughs> I was probably the safest one out of everyone. <laughs> I mean, you're not half dead, so yeah. Just, just when I say I was rolling constantly after I made that comment about you being like bait for a fish, oh. just to see if a fish came along. <laughs> <laughs> so you were that safe. Bait. 
on a streak. You had a one in six chance and things going very, 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 very bad for you. <laughs> the dice gods are in my favour today, I guess. Alright. What, like Oodalus? Yeah. Oodalus? Oodalus! You Oodalus forever! Jericho, what would you like <laughs> to do? I have to pull myself up. Okay, that'll be an athletics check. Okay. Right. You just about managed to pull yourself up, like, very, very haggardly, just, like, basically flopping yourself over the railing and just landing on the on the deck. Gore is just standing there. Oh! Menacingly! You're alive! Oh, oh God! <laughs> I'm just lying on the, on the floor of the ship. Oh god. He's <laughs> <laughs> a mess. What, yeah? What, what are you worried about? I was just chilling down there. I thought you died! <laughs> no, I, I strapped a bit of rope to myself. I didn't see. <laughs> well, I'm all right. It's okay now, buddy. Are you? Are you okay? I am just lying on the fucking deck of the ship, <laughs> just bawling. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, the other two motherfuckers actually almost died. Just oh. in the rain, just exhausted, just full meltdown. I, I'm i gonna go check on the others, make sure they're okay. Yeah, sure, it's fine if they're dead, I guess. <laughs> uh, can I do that? Yeah, it's your turn. Cool. Uh... <laughs> Only note I wrote written down so far, Maelstrom. And how many days we have. Sick. I would have untied myself as well. Yeah, I assume. Yeah. <laughs> what? <laughs> to be fair, what? if you uh, if you hadn't, you wouldn't have. No, oh, you just about realised it at this point. <laughs> um. Okay. I mean, I dashed, so that's my go, I guess. Apollo, you're lying on the floor right now. I would get up, I mm. guess. <laughs> And then walk upstairs again. I can't double move because I got up again, I guess. So I get like 30 feet of movement. Okay. Or do I get 60 still? Uh, I'll let you double move, it's fine. Sick. Okay, We're out well, of the uh, danger zone, so. Well, why'd, you, why'd you do that? Wait, why move? <laughs> yeah, why did I do that? Um, While walking past, past, uh, past Callum. Uh, wait, what is this? Colin. Colin. <laughs> Uh, I like tap on it and I like, good job, buddy. But I, I like just walk past him, I guess. Okay. Eh, you're welcome. As you walk past Aphron, Aphron, you look at Apollo and his helmet seems a little bit more squashed. And just a little <laughs> bit of bluish residue, like dusty residue on his faceplate. <gasps> they give. Basically, <laughs> very suddenly and violently, Apollo face planted uh, Colin, so yeah, sure. Oh, why so blue? Uh, and I kind of try to scrape it off because I'm obviously not aware. Mm -hmm. Long story, I guess. I'll just continue walking. Do I feel my. Helmet being like dented in or whatever, or is it just yeah, it's just it's a now that you think about it, it's just a little bit closer to your like squ your face is a little bit okay. more squashed up okay. against the faceplate than normal. All right, it did its job. I mean, if you hadn't been wearing a helmet and you had collided like that, your face would be dented like that, so you know, yeah. Um, also, okay. as you walk past Aphron, just in case you hadn't seen before, he has a fairly large black eye. Wonder how that got there. <laughs> I'll just look at him a little bit longer than what I would usually do, and I just a little bit. I, I'll just question silently. Did you before. see something that you like? Uh, 
let's look what the others were up to first, I guess. <laughs> okay. Uh, Aphron, what are you doing? I'd like to roll one last constitution saving for before I get up. Okay. <laughs> You do not vomit. I hey. stand up. Groaning. Hey. Let's... Let's get out of here. That's me. Okay. Jericho, what are you doing? Ah! <laughs> I'm still going. <laughs> okay. As you continue to cry, you uh, roll me a perception check. And Gore, since you're in the vicinity, you can also roll me a perception check. Okay. Gore, you hear the sound of a metal door opening. And from this trap door here comes Tarhan. Oh, no. He uh, has a toothbrush poking out of his mouth. And is wearing a bathrobe. <laughs> um, afternoon, lads. He says as he climbs that? his way out of the trap door. How, how did... What? How, you know, I'm not even going to ask. Uh, oh, hey, Tom. <laughs> Why are you on the floor crying? Uh, we had a day. Well, you always have a day. That's what living is. Yeah. Yeah. Fair enough. Anyways, bathroom's free. <laughs> Wait, there's a bathroom down there? And technically, any room where you have a bath is a bathroom. He says with a smile. We have a bath? <laughs> he just continues to walk off, continuing to brush his teeth. <laughs> right, I'll tie myself and we'll start our adventure again. Uh. Okay, go your turn. Okay. That's a me. Okay, look. Apollo. It be your turn. Uh, I be. The fuck? The you ring. You be upstairs. the fuck, okay. Yes, exactly. Okay, so I guess, yeah, I'll, I'll go next map. And I'll have 15. 15 feet of movement left. Un momento, por favor. Yeah. Right, Dirk. And I'll just there. Oh, okay. Right, My Dirk. turn. Aethron, your turn. Up the stairs I go. me. Okay, Doug. Jericho, what are you doing? I fly the sheep. Okay. So you'd like to start turning the wheel and what have you. Oh, right, yeah. 
yeah, as you go to start turning the wheel, it turns with zero resistance whatsoever, like it's not connected to anything. Okay. God fucking damn, I kick the wheel. <laughs> you kick the wheel, and you stub your toe a little bit, and the wheel just spins listlessly. Cool. I do Ryan Gosling scream. <laughs> he just like me for real. Yeah. Gore, what are you doing? I shall continue moving up. Okay. You get oh, two Apollo. Oh my god, there's two Apollos and two Aetherons. There shouldn't be two, buddy. I don't see that. Yeah. Yeah. There's one in this room. Nope. Here. Oh. Nope. There was once upon a time. <laughs> Yeah, oh, weird. That's a few minutes ago. <laughs> Perhaps Aether... I died in that closet, and <laughs> I am my ghost. Aetheron you're already is dead, still aren't unconscious, you? apparently. That's a good point. Wait, did I die? Oh god. Uh, yeah, Gore, you might need to refresh, bud. All right, I'll refresh. But they're there anyway. Mm. Ah, you guys. How? How? Are you okay? What? What happened? Oh. Everyone has a black eye. Apollo's helmet seems to be slightly dented. I was oh. reading a book. Then everything you, went to shit. You guys look pretty battered. Yeah. Oh. What happened? We went through uh, some kind of like storm or a maelstrom of some kind. The ship turned upside down. Aye. Got that part. I fell yeah. off the ship and was dangling about 50 feet. Right. Like you do. It was pretty chill, actually. I had to, uh, it was pretty lucky, actually. I, when the ship flipped again, I was hanging onto the balloon. Just dropped down. It was, it was an alright time, actually. Probably safer down there than it was on here by the <laughs> looks of things. I. We had a word with Colin. He flipped it back for us. Ah, oh, that's good. At least we can, you know, rely on something else than just the wheel. Ah, it's good to know we've got the feature. Autopilot. We should Is... work that out before. Well, I feel like we knew we just decided to use the wheel every time anyway. Better not to bother Colin every single time, you know. I think he likes the company. Well, he was a right asshole the last time I was speaking to him. I wouldn't have got that impression, but... I think he'll be alright for a while. Apollo will give him a kiss. Ah! Hey. I'll just not say anything. <laughs> <laughs> He's not denying it. I think I, think I feel <laughs> something in the air. In return. Colin gave him a facelift. Look at him. He looks beautiful. I love what you've done with your helmet. I'm like curious about how my helmet actually looks, but I'm not going to take it off now. I'm just <laughs> feeling <quiet>. so conscious. <laughs> yeah, exactly that. <laughs> Especially with it being dented and all that, it's like fucked. You just like gently touch your helmet and then just pull away. <laughs> Alright, well, uh, if you guys are safe and sound, then I uh, guess we can continue. Uh, yeah, you guys do that. Uh, and I look for some wood so I can board up the broken window. Okie doke. Uh, you can probably find some spare wood lying around somewhere. Yeah. Alright. Well, how do you plan on continuing your journey, though? Because the wheel is broken. Um... We should probably just try and find any bit of land if we can get to it via Colin. Get it fixed. Okay. So, you're going to talk to Colin about uh, 
about navigating then. Is that right? Uh, yeah, I mean, I guess seeing as the wheel is broken, there's not really much for Jericho to do. So I'll, I'll, I guess I'll just get everyone together to discuss where to go, I suppose. Okay, sounds like a plan. You gather your party before venturing forward. Should we actually get together, or should we just... just well, talk? yeah, you can just talk, but what, what, what are your plans? Well, where should we go? Should we just head back to somewhere that we've already been? Uh, could just go hmm. to where we headed. No. <laughs> well, it depends where Colin knows actually how to, like, where to go. I mean, do we have any idea where we are, or we could just kind of lost? Um, you can estimate, but obviously the storm will have probably knock you off course. I will not estimate. I will probably fuck it up. Well, we know that that other island we were going to is basically just slightly northwest of Sharn. So yeah. we could just say to Colin go to Sharon and then head slightly northwest. And we might get there. Problem is we don't know where we are, because the storm knocked us, of course. Colin will know. I feel like we've asked him this before. Well, let's ask him if he knows where we are and if he knows how to get back to Sharon. And then we go from there. I hope he knows something. Alright. I'm not going to bother having you move down to, uh, to Colin's deck. You uh, approach Colin. Hey, Colin. Who, who's here, sorry. Just to clarify. I'll be there. All of us, yeah. Okay. Hello, Gore. Hello, Aphron. Hello, Jericho. Hello, Prisoner. Hello, mate. How are you doing this fine afternoon? Everything hurts. How are you? Ah, oh, I've wrote a poem about that. Oh, no. I mean... Oh, really? Yeah, do you want me to recite it for you? Sure. I think I might know what this is going to be. When the day is long, and the night, the night is yours alone, when you're sure you've had enough of this life, well, hang on. Don't let yourself go. Because everybody cries. And everybody hurts. Sometimes. <laughs> sometimes, everything is wrong. Now it's time to sing along. When your day is night alone, hold on, hold on. If you feel like letting go, hold on. If you think you've had too much of this life, well, hang on. Because everybody hurts. Take comfort in your friends, and everybody hurts. Colin, that's beautiful. And honestly, I'm quite impressed you managed to write it so well, considering you don't have hands. Why? Well, don't write it with pen and paper. That's not what I meant. I meant talking about holding on. Well, I, I can hold on to things. Ideas. Concepts. Feelings. Ah. Grudges. Ah. Oh, no. <laughs> Hello, Alex's mum. Oh, dear. Was she on camera? She's famous now. Oh, shit. 
I also get the calms that's Scottish. Yeah. <laughs> uh anyway, Colin, uh beautiful poems aside, uh do you know where we are right now? Yes. And if we wanted to go back to Shan, the island that we just came from, would you be able to get us there? If you point me in the right direction, yeah. Ah, oh, shit. Why, why is this, what's this got to do with us being in the lower deck of this ship? Oh, nothing, nothing. Why, just you asked whether I knew where we were. Well, uh, is there any chance you could like trace back the way we've moved so far, even though we were in that storm? Do you really think I pay attention to where we go? I don't have eyes. I mean, that's why I asked. I mean, you could could feel it maybe in what direction we're going or something. I don't know. Ah, oh, yes, I feel like we're going in a windily way. Exactly. I don't. Ah. Uh. Were you in prison for being a fucking idiot? Uh, I actually... Yeah. Yeah, fine. You know what, actually, I was in prison before. But that was... Anyway. Uh, actually, yeah. In a way, I was in prison for being a fucking idiot. Yeah, figures. You know this guy headbutted me? Yeah. That was pretty cool, huh? It was pretty rude. It's just a good thing that I don't have arms and legs and a pillow, because otherwise you'd be receiving the pillow in your sleep. Another pillow? That sounds nice. Sure. Sounds... nice. Yeah, okay. well, uh, I'm pretty sure uh, we're not going to get anywhere here. What about Tahen? He's somehow made it back onto the ship again. He seems to be everywhere. You might have a clue as to where we uh, need to head. One, just one, one quick question. One, one waffer thin question. Aye. Who the fuck is Tarhan? Oh, he's this like mummy guy. He's got all these wrappings around him. And... He's your mother. I didn't agree with you bringing your mother on board my ship. No, he's he's not my mother. He's everyone's mother. He's, He's not, not my mother. mother. He's a mummy to wall. Mm. Okay. He, he likes to keep whispering to uh, Jericho a lot, though. Not sure what's going on there. Wouldn't you like to know whether <laughs> Nah, I don't particularly care that much. Exactly. That's why me and you are besties. <laughs> but, uh... Yeah, maybe Tahan's our best bet. Maybe he has some crazy portal to take us somewhere. Okay. <laughs> I'm just gonna start scouring the ship for Tahan, I guess. And okay. I'll go upstairs again. Who's, Reading my book. Who's joining in the search for Tarhan? I will. If I start reading the book now, does that still count as a day? Not unless a day passes. But next day it would count as one. Well. Sure. Cool. Uh, Aphron, what are you doing? <clears throat> um... That's a very good question. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just gonna vibe. Okay, and Ephron stands in Colin's room, just vibing, I guess. Yeah, yeah, I'm just vibing with Colin. What are you vibing to? Um, poetry. Some Adele. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Colin seems like an, an Adele enjoyer. I don't know why. Well, and then it's just water under the bridge. <laughs> I no longer respect Colin.
Okay, uh, you are walking down this corridor and you hear something through this door. Through what door, sorry? This door. Oh. I'll knock on the door. Yeah, that's... who is it? It's Gore. Ah, yes, come in, come in, my dear boy, come in. As you open the door, he's shuffling towards you, walking with a walking stick, and kind of bent over like he's got a bad back. He's got a monocle on his eye. Ah, my, my dear Gore, my dear Gore Trenigor. <laughs> Gore Trenigor. All right, uh, all right, uh... It, who's, come who's in, come in for a cup of tea. Yes, cup of tea. Oh, okay. Ooh, yes. Who, who's your friend? He does indeed have a friend. <laughs> <laughs> Name's Lupo. No formal. So, sorry, could you repeat that? My name's Lupo. Lupo. N nice to meet you, Lupo. Yeah. Uh, as uh, Tahan said, my name's Gore. Yeah, go to the go. You go to the go. <laughs> yes, it's a cup of tea. This is uh, Tarhan gesturing towards the buckets that are seemingly Lupo and uh, Tarhan have been drinking out of. Oh, thank you. I'll I'll take a swig, I guess. Please okay, don't well, tell me I'm drinking piss. You're not drinking piss. It is thick, and you you didn't say you looked at it before you took a swig, so you just took a <laughs> swig oh, as this kind of greasy, sickly, trickling liquid pours down your throat. You start to feel absolutely awful, like you want to vomit, and as you take the bucket away from your mouth, you realize you seemingly have just drank engine oil. Oh, oh that's... That's not good. <laughs> uh, I see you don't like goblin tea. What about you, Jericho Urson? Would you like some tea, Jericho Urson? Would you like some Awful tea? No, nope, thank you, Dan. Awful uh, up. That's a good, good boy. Wouldn't want you to yep. get it. Wouldn't want you to get ill, would we? Wouldn't want you nope. to get ill, Jericho. He says, shuffling nope, slightly closer towards to you. Ill. Yes. Wouldn't want you to get ill, Jericho. Yep. Anyways, how can I help you, my dear boys? He says, sitting down on this, uh, this sack. I'm just gonna be, like, scratching my head, just <laughs> wondering what the fuck is going on. <laughs> uh... Oh, where to begin? Uh, well... Usually the shark is probably the best place to begin when you're... You don't have to be good at repairs, do you, Lupo? Uh. You think this because I'm a goblin, I'm good at repairs? No, I was just generally asking a question. Eh. Well, it depends what you need repairing. If you need a broken heart repairing, only time can heal that. <clears throat> cool, thank you for that, Luke. But what about a ship? Hmm. Nope, never repaired a ship before. Okay. But if okay. it's anything like a broken heart, I'll just give it time. Noted. Thank you, Lupo. Ah, Lupo just went through a messy breakup, you see, the dear boy. Mm, I can tell. Mm. Hopefully time will fix it. That's a good idea. Yep. Yeah. Uh, well, Tahen, you mm -hmm. see, uh, the wheel of the ship is broken, hence asking if Lupo was any good at repairing stuff. Um, and we kind of don't know where we are. No, oh, you're in my, my my tea room, my dear boy. No, I meant as in the ship, the whole of it, where we are in the void type of uh, thing. Oh, like an existential question, like where are we in N life? No, no, the location of the ship... <clears throat> Yeah, like if you were to look at the the world map, would you be able to point us in the right direction? Well, uh, I I could have a guess as much as the next man. I do have eyes after all, and yeah, what is a man without eyes? Hmm? Blind. Yes. Yes. 
Okay, I'm just gonna ask, how do you seemingly get everywhere? Well, what do you mean, my dear boy? Well... You were on... the ship, and then you were suddenly on... that island we were going... to, to figure out the water problem. You're the tour guide there, oh, for uh, more than oh, five sorry, years. Sorry, sorry, Um... As yes, uh, Lupo looking at his wrist where there is, you notice now, seemingly drawn with uh, ink and a quill, a drawing of a watch on his wrist. <laughs> it's time for me to be getting going. Ah, dear boy, do, do, don't be a stranger. See you later. And Tarhan like, gestures at the wall and suddenly a portal opens up and Lupo walks out through it. I'm Bye. sorry, you, you, you were saying... It's gone. You, you were saying, my dear boys, he says as the portal closes. Ah, well, uh, well, that kind of answered my question, I guess. Oh, what question? About how you get everywhere. I, I don't I don't know what you mean. You, you saved me from my chamber in the bottle, and I've been traveling with you ever since, my dear boy. Mm, yeah. You, you just you opened the whole ship. Well, pardon? Reckon you could do what you d just did for Lupo, but with the whole ship. Who the fuck is Lupo? <laughs> oh god, who is Lupo? <laughs> you... I start to slowly squat down. <laughs> Jer Jer Jericho, you, you saw that goblin too, right? I don't know anymore, man. <laughs> oh, that goblin, he's my taxidermist. So, you do know him. He's Lupo, right? Oh, I never got his name. Oh my god. Okay, could you create a portal like you did for your goblin friend, but with the whole ship? I can't create portals. What are you talking about, my dear boy? Okay. <laughs> now, anyways. Can we get moving? I've noticed that our ship supplies are starting to dwindle. We've got a couple more days' food, but in terms of tea, we're running out. Yeah, we can't do that because we can't move the ship. So no more tea? So no more tea. Oh no. We need to find someone with tea, but we can't do that without the ship. So we need to move the ship to the tea, Tarhen. Oh, you wouldn't like Tarhen without the tea. Exactly. All, all work and no tea makes Tarhen a dull boy. Yeah, I'm sure. Right, very well. Best go and find some tea, then. He uh, gestures his hand and the portal opens up on the wall. Right, go on. Tally-ho. Post-haste. Wait, Post -haste. we're going? Oh, yes. We No, we've got to try and sort the ship out. We can't leave oh just to get God. tea. He closes the portal. I can't fix the bloody ship. I'm not a mechanic, am I? No, but we, we're wondering... Oh. You know what? I say we just pick a direction and go in it. No, 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 wait, 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 wait. What if we go through the portal to get someone that can? That is not a bad idea. Do you know anyone that can fix ships, Tahin? Yeah, Shipwright would probably be able to fix ships. But do you know one in particular, or at least somewhere that has one that we could press gang into doing it for free, maybe? Well, if I was to wager... And I am a wagering man. Then I would be able to guess. Hmm. Yes. Maybe. Hmm. Possibly. The Port of Styes. That would have a lot of shipwrights. The Port of Styes. Yes. Do you want to go to the Port of Styes? Sure. Yes. Okay, very well, he gestures at the portal. Now, I should warn you that I won't know when you want the portal to be reopened, so I'll probably just open it when I feel like it, and you best be there to go through it, or else, uh, bye-bye. Oh, all right. <laughs> now, if you wanted to take anyone else with you, uh, it might be worth grabbing them before you go. I might forget about you. The tea tends to dull the senses. Okay, you I'll have any, so hopefully that doesn't get dulled. What the fuck did you just say? What? He he shuffles over to you, dropping the walking stick as he does, and then removes the monocle from his eye and stares up at you. What? 
Listen to me, you little fuck. Listen to me, you little fuck. Okay. If you didn't know me a life debt, he's talking loudly enough that Gore can hear him. By the way, if you didn't know me a life debt, I would stab your tongue out right now. Oh, okay. Think about that. Stab your tongue out. That would be multiple stabs, multiple stabs, just from one side to the next until I can just pull the rest of it out. Okay, Tahan. He then so turns to Gore as if he hasn't even thought about the fact that Gore probably overheard that and just gives you a big beaming smile. I'll go and grab the others. Mm, ooh, tea, he says, picking up the bucket and starts downing it. I'm going to just run out of the room and go and grab the others. Okay, the others, do you come with? I come with, yes. Mm -hmm. Damn, that means I can't finish a day with reading. Fuck! Ah, good day, good day, good day, good day. He says, just to <laughs> you in. Oh, bless oh, you, Jericho. Me. Yeah, it's that tea. Yes. Oh. You know, when they turned me into a mummy, they removed my brains through hooks, through my nose. And sneezing That's can do that too. Yeah. He gestures at the wall again. Right. Tally ho then. Well, will the portal open up in the exact same place as you open it up now, or Perfect. will it be just somewhere near us? Well, I can open it back up in the exact same place if that's what you want me to do. Sure, yes, at least we'll have a point to come back to. Excellent. Right, well. I bid you all adieu, then. Bye. Bye. Okay. Give me one moment. Hello. Hello. Okay, who walks through the portal first? I'll. Okay. Um... Roll me a dexterity saving for her. Uh oh. Okay. As you step out of the portal, the portal is probably about two or three feet away from just a brick wall. Like the portal is facing a brick wall. So you walk out of the portal and just immediately notice that. And like, huh, if I hadn't been paying attention, you could have just like basically slammed your forehead directly into a brick wall. Who goes next to the portal? Oh, good. Okay. Oh. Okay, both Jericho and... Uh, sorry, not Jericho. Both Gore and Aphron walk through the portal at the same time. Both of you make Holding me dexterity hands. saving throws. Yep. Yeah. Uh, Aphron got a 20. Yep. Yeah. Uh-oh. Excellent. Okay, Aphron walks directly into Jericho's back, pushing Jericho into the brick wall, uh, <laughs> and then... Atticus kind of walks into the back of uh, Aetheron and you all just kind of pile up against the wall uncomfortably. And then, finally, Gore comes through. Uh, not Gore. Uh, fucking Apollo comes through. Yep. And then the portal closes. 
You're standing in an alleyway. Perfect. What would you like to do? I'll start looking around, see if we can find any sign of a shipwright. Okay, uh, roll me a perception check then, I guess. You should join in on that. I shall also join in for that. Mm. Uh, just in case they're not too happy about weapons either. I will leave my trident dex uh the two ruined ones in the alleyway. Okay. Okay, so I'll keep the shield on me, but and then my other hand axe is in my bag. There. You uh step out of the alleyway then into the street of styes and just waiting for Jericho's perception check if he wants to make one. Alright, that's alright. I was busy fiddling with stuff. Okay. The first thing that all four of you notice is the haze of smoke hanging over this district. It's everywhere and its stench just permeates the area. It gets into your nostrils. It gets under your clothes, it gets into your skin. For you, Gore, it probably stings, because also, you know, your nose was broken yesterday. Yeah. <laughs> you can see... Mm, well, you can see what was possibly once a notice, notable port. Now, it's the decaying rays of one. Remains of one. Rip not rays, what? The king remains of a once noticeable port district. Under bent gables, the carcasses of its houses lean against each other, languid, broken, and awaiting the peace of collapse. Door frames sag, dislocated from sod walls, heavy with mildew, while splintering timbers support rotten boardwalks like broken limbs, disappearing into the thick, rancid water of the harbour below. In numerous places, sections of the boardwalks have fallen away completely, leaving broad holes exposed polluted water. Quick question. Did we long rest between whatever happened and this now? Nope. <laughs> this is like an hour after the whole ship upside down situation. Fuck. I mean, sure, Zara, we could have just spent an entire day with a ship floating. Yeah. <laughs> going God knows where. Exactly. Health and sick. Alright, does anyone find anything? Um, but no, with a 14, you don't... You mean you see ships in the bay, but not many. You see what is... You know, a handful of shops, but this place looks dead. It looks like it's an excuse for a port. It looks like it's a place hanging on to life, not one that people actually live in. Does one of the buildings look like it might be a bar? You can fairly quickly find a bar or a tavern, yeah. Alright, should we go to the bar and ask if there's a ship right there? Sure. Yeah. It's our best bet, I guess. Okay. Uh, give me... One more moment. Yo. Yeah. 
Apologies, my foundry has uh, frozen. While I'm trying to do things, it's not the most dire situation because I'm trying to do things off foundry, but it means that I can't go back into foundry right now. Ha. Aw. Ha. Aw. I wonder what's up with that. What's up with what? Foundry dying. Y your mum. <gasps> I knew it. Yeah, I'm just refreshing, but it hopefully won't take the server down. So... Shall we meet for whiskey and cigars later? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You gonna provide the cigars? Because I've got plenty of whiskey. I um. You know, I I could probably roll up this bit of paper and then it look like a bad cigar, right? You treat me so Sick. well. Yeah. <laughs> there you go, man. Look at that stogie. Oh! Mm. That's a fatty. Okay, I'm back in Foundry. Oh, come back. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Goop, goopity, goop, goop, goop. That. Goopity, gap, 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 key. Okay. As you're. You don't immediately find a, a tavern or an inn from where you. You. you um. What's it called from where you like arrived through your portal, but you do quickly kind of start to follow over the stench of the smog and the stench of dead fish and uh, the port in general. You do start to follow your noses and start to navigate towards what you're pretty confident is wherever the nearest pub is. You can hear the distant sound of some form of quiet merriment you can hear uh, you can smell you can hear and smell the alcohol uh, because you know your senses have evolved so so much you should be proud of yourselves um, and as you're making your way down an alleyway you notice a group of people in front of you Three people approaching you, uh, down coming down the same side of the road as you. Um, so, you know, if you're walking down the road, they don't try and move over to the other side to get out of your way. How do you react? Keep on walking. Mm -hmm. Okay, they continue yep. to not uh, make Gorgeous. a move to get out of your way. Roll me same. a perception check. All of us? Mm-hmm. Gladly. Ah, yes. Okay. Um... Yeah, you all notice then, as this group doesn't uh, get out of your way, that from another kind of side alley, another group comes out and starts following you. 
Do they look like they, but both parties belong to each other? That's a fair assessment. I'm gonna draw my weapon. Oh, ho, ho, says one of the ones in front of you as you do that. They stop walking. <laughs> Easy, friend. So we don't have a problem here. I just came to ask you whether you had any spare change. Afraid not. Not unless you can point us to a ship, right? <laughs> Why? Your ship in trouble? We could do with some patching up. Yeah. That is the typical use for a ship, right? You hear that, Kev? Says uh, the one you've been talking to, leaning to the one next to him. They've got a whole ship. We barely got any food to feed our poor little babes. They're rich uh, and powerful, I tell you. I tell you what. <laughs> you got any rotten food laying around? Do I look like I carry rotten food on me? Well, I mean, yes. If you've got that little food, you've probably got some rotten stuff lying around. Wouldn't want to throw it away, would you? Well, I don't have any on me. No one well, in the stocks, I... you see. Well, I tell you what. Rummage around the trash a little bit, find some rotten food, and I'll restore it for you. Jericho and... Gore, you hear a twig snap as this one is starting to creep up towards you, looking like he's going to try and pick your pockets. Um, can I summon my spectral scythe? Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah! He, he, he backs off a little bit, like, oh, okay. Let me uh, just rolly roll for the damage. Four. Nice. Oof. Oof. That has been a pleasure token. Cool. Hmm. I'm, uh... Can I, like, roll to intimidate as I do that? Sure. Yikes. <laughs> oh, that one's got magic, eh? Says this one. Yeah, they do. Says this one. That one who was originally talking to us. Lads, listen. I wouldn't want to pick a fight with a magic user. Seems like a good way to get ourselves killed. He then very slowly draws his weapon. Of course, a magic user who looks like they can barely stand. He says, gesturing at the four of you. Oh boy, Captain America Titan Shield moment. <laughs> ah, seems like a different story. He says, smiling to Kev. Kev grins and draws his weapon. Is there one of these three that look younger than the rest? Maybe like a, I don't know, 18, 19, 20 year old guy? Sure. Which one of those would that be? Uh, Run, so... Atheon will kill you. Run. <laughs> Okay, I would like to just look like I would just casually try to walk through them, I guess. Okay, well, if you do that, they're all going to draw their weapons and combat's going to begin, so. I mean, I'm not going to walk through them, I'm just going to approach them, I guess. Yeah, so you take, like, two steps forward, so you can move five feet, and then they're going to draw their weapons and combat's going to begin. Mm, okay, well. Mm, you said you were going to do that, so. Alright, 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 sure. Like, there, then, I guess? Mm -hmm. Wrong okay. initiative. Sure. The good news is no one got a surprise round. True. Alright. Well, the leader is funnily enough the one who who's going first. So as you step forward, he's going to step in and go to attack. Uh, 13, I believe, will miss you, though. Yes. And then his second attack will also miss you. Okay. 
Go, cool. your turn. Okay. Um... Hmm. I'll hold him off. <laughs> looking, looking real, looking real happy with just my shield. Uh, I'll I'll activate my weapon as well. Three. God damn, taking a beating before the fight's even started. Damn, it's almost like you were tumbling across the ship and took half your health already. <laughs> go on, go on, go help the power. Uh, yeah, I'll uh. Yeah, I will actually. Um, wait, he won't get an, an attack opportunity then. No. Who's gonna get an attack of what? I thought this guy behind me might get an attack of opportunity if I moved away, but I don't think Pretty he sure will. More than five feet. Yeah. Um. Yeah, you know what? I'm gonna. Can I move through like the middle of these guys? No, that would be threatened space. So they would try and stop you. Right. You can try and tumble. I think actually. Hold on. Let me look up the rules of tumbling. Ooh. when you know the name of like I do actually quite like D&D Beyond as a service but I like when you know the name of a rule and then you search on D&D Beyond and it comes up with nothing to do with that rule <laughs> and then you look it up on Google just to confirm that is the name of the rule and it's like yeah that's the name of the rule and it's like cool great excellent amazing thank you for nothing um Tumble, here we go. Um, as an action or a bonus action, you may make a uh, acrobatics check contested by the hostile creature's acrobatics check. If you win the contest, you can move for the host. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm going in my throat. If you win the contest, you can move through the hostile creature's space once this turn. Okay, yeah, I'm not going to bother doing that. Um, that was horrible to happen mid-reading, but anyways, I recovered. <laughs> good. <laughs> then I will come up and just try and whack this guy. Whack him. Kill him. I keep forgetting that you have reach. Yeah. That do be hitting. Nice. Reach is good, just maybe not when you're like surrounded. Mm -hmm. Um, and then an extra one damage. Of course, the damage you deal is super low. Damn, typical. 
All right. That your turn? Yep. Okay, Captain America, your turn. Okay. I want to slice him first with my, um, whatever, gloves. Ooh, I'll get up in this guy's face. Oh, there, sorry. It's not your turn, mate. No. You're not Captain America. Oh my god, I'm sorry. <laughs> Wait, why do I... I have no idea. I thought you were just telling me your plan and then you just started rolling attacks, okay. Remember, I'm if sorry. any of you guys have regrets about your life choices, blame that guy and I'll point to his leader. Okay. And cast Burning Hands. Alright. Oh no. Train situation all over again. <laughs> <laughs> the whole village is gonna burn. So click that place measured template button. Yeah. Uh thought it was gonna be a little bit bigger, but it's fine. I can still just make an example of that one guy. Alright. <clears throat> He's making that dexterity saving throw. He meets, so half damage. Okay. Still pretty good. Okay. That your turn? Uh, yes. Okay. Now it's Apollo's turn, who is not Captain America, if anything, the Wolverine. Yes, now I can actually do something. Boom. With disadvantage. Against who? Uh, yeah, what's this one? Good. Uh, escape. Yep. Bang. That's a miss. Wow. 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 It's like you're fourth from that one now. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, I'll just wreck him normally then. Oh, wait. That hits. That's it? Mm hmm. Perfect. Bang. Nice. That your turn? Uh, uh, yeah. That's. Yeah, this one's going to run up and try and attack you, Aphron. Mm -hmm. 23 will hit you. Yep. You take 8 points of damage. Oh boy. Okay, the spy is going to move up to behind Jericho. And that should have been rolled with advantage. Uh, let me re-roll. So does an 18 hit you, Jericho? No. It does not, okay. Damn. And then they're going to do multi-attack to attack you a second time. Mm -hmm. And a 16 will also miss you. Alright. Conveniently, it's the one you uh, burnt a little bit this time. So they're also going to try and shank you. 16 will miss. And a 14 will miss. Damn. Okay, this one's going to aim for you, Apollo, with the crossbow. But that will miss. Hey. 
Aphron, your turn. I'm hey, it's Aphron's turn. Hey. I'm going to heal myself with 15 health. Okay. I can also... I uh, only second one after I'm half health, right? I think that's only in Star Wars, if memory serves. Let me just look, have a look. I'm pretty Maybe sure also... second winding in this one is you can just do it when you want, but you yeah, can I think do so. it once per short rest. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, cool. Learn cool. along. Because I think we've had this conversation before uh, in a different D&D &D campaign about second wind. Oh, okay. Yeah, I just looked at the actual ability itself and it also didn't say anything about having to be half health. Yeah. Okay, good. And who are you attacking, Aphron? Can can I still attack after doing lay on hands? Is lay on hands an action? I thought it was. Let me check. Uh, as an action, yeah, you're right. You're right. Yeah. Okay. Okay, well, you just hit him, Gore, so he's going to try and hit you. An 11 will miss, and a 7 will miss. Yeah. And this one's also going to aim for you, uh, Gore, with his crossbow. I believe a 22 will hit you. Yes. Okay, you take 6 points of damage. Okay. Ooh. Top of the initiative to you. Hold on a sec. Never mind. No. Okay, uh, this one's going to attack Apollo. Attack of opportunity. Why? Sentinel. Is that automatic or do you have to activate it? No, it's automatic. Fair enough. Sick. Uh, okay, he then first, he then. makes his attacks first. Yep. Well, he got a nat 1 on his first attack. Nice. And then a 20, which I believe will hit Apollo. That does hit me, yes. Okay, let's just have a quick look, see at something. Yeah, he's within five feet of his mate. Okay. Take five points of damage, Apollo, and then he's also going to use his sneak attack. Oh no! And you take a further four points of damage from that. Okay, now Aphron does his reaction. I'm not looking too toasty. I mean, you wear armor, so we can't really tell. True. It's like Darth Vader, you don't know that he's toasty either, so. I mean, he usually does like the sound when he's damaged, so I don't know. That hits. It hits them. All right. <clears throat> Great weapon master, I see. Correct. That your turn? Oh, that wasn't even your turn. Never mind. Ignore me. Go, your turn. Okay. Um. I'll hit the same guy. You will try. You will I try. I will try. You will fail. I'll fail. <laughs> Do anything okay, else? Okay, that's my turn. Nope. Okay, Jericho, your turn. Okay. Um. Well, I don't really actually have any melee spells that can help me in this scenario, so... Uh, as my bonus action, I shall summon my trident. Okay, your trident appears in your hand. Simple. 
and I'll stab this boy. As the trident appears in your hands, this boy goes, Hmm. <laughs> oh, indeed, buddy. That's... A style. Oof. Is that your turn? Yes. Paula, it's your turn. Uh, okay, first of all, I will short rest. Uh, the second wound, I mean. <laughs> that. <laughs> you know what? I feel like having a nap right now. Same. Oh, wow. Perfect. I love that. Okay. Four Gain health. four hit points. Sick. Um, I'll whack the guy. You will try. We'll do... That misses. I will action search and I will whack him again. Okay. That hits. Bap. Bap. And that's enough to kill him. <laughs> uh, I'd like to use my reaction to uh, use my blood curse to make him attack his friend, the one that I'm attacking. Ooh. Does he do that on his turn or on your turn? Or immediately. It's just now. It's, it's reaction. Does he have to be within five feet? He's just about within five feet anyways, I'd say. So yeah, fine. Sick. That will hit. Nice. Rolled a one on the damage, but oh well. No. That damage is damage. Yeah. We'll take it. I mean, there's no point in not using it if I have it. Mm -hmm. Exactly. And then, yeah, the body flops over dead. Cool. Doing anything else in your turn, Apollo? Um, if I were to go over there, would um, Jericho still be flanked? He would still be flanked, but you'd also be flanking. Okay. I'll, uh... What are you doing? I've got this. Alright. Cool. As oh, wait, you run by, that invokes an attack of opportunity from both of these two. Oh, I thought because there were um, two people standing <laughs> nope, there. Wouldn't have five feet, but... Yeah, they can okay. just use their reaction whenever. Um... Uh, 17, does that hit you? That does hit me, yes. Okay. Wait, does a film get a reaction from their reactions to the Sentinel? <coughs> I don't believe so, no. I do. Cool. But he's also used his reaction this turn, so... And the other one... Twenty-one will hit you. Yup. You take seven points of damage from that one. <laughs> Standing strong, guys. I actually did the damage to that guy rather than to you. Whoops. Oh, that can stay like that. No, no, I don't think it can. Oh. Well, we I go. tried. <laughs> okay, that your turn? Uh, yeah, I guess. Okay, uh, this guy's gonna try and attack you, Mhm. Mm Twelve will miss you. Mhm. Mm Doesn't eighteen hit you though? Probably, yep. Okay, you take five points of damage. Okay, Jericho. Yeah, yes. I'm gonna take another swing at that boy. Not your turn, sorry, you're being attacked. Ah! <laughs> uh, but an eight will miss you, and a 14 will also miss you. It will indeed. Alright, and then... Jericho, you're being attacked again. Ah. Does a 19 hit you? It does. But I'm going to use my reaction. Okay. 
what that reaction do. I cast do. shield upon myself. Okay. Cool. Making my oh, AC a 24. Okay. Rest it turn. does have a bonus action. So, uh, not a bonus action, sorry, a second attack, so... Mm -hmm. Oh, buddy. Isn't that pretty? funny? <laughs> oh, no! Well... In my hubris! Yeah, so he, he yeah. swings at you, and suddenly this good. shimmering shield appears around you, and the blade bounces off, and then he just moves it. He does the cool Arya thing, where he drops the sword, catches it with his other hand, and brings it in for a stab. And it goes through your shield. And I accidentally did it to the spy. Whoopsie. Yeah. Um, Lances off of the shield and straight into his friend's <laughs> oh no, throat. That's, 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 that's death. <laughs> that's a crit. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I get to roll on the table. <laughs> Yeah, sure do, bud. It's gonna be a 2v6, by the way. I'll, I'm also dead. I have, like, four health left. <laughs> Why is it always me? Because you got fuck all health. And then you still decide to try and take on four people at the same time and let Alex I run can, up to the top. I can, though, until I get the crit. Well, the good news is you're getting a horrible scar if you survive. You're can't disfigured to the extent that the wound can't be easily concealed, and you have disadvantage on charisma persuasion checks and advantage on charisma intimidation checks. Okay. You might want to copy that down and add that to your bio, bud. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You can decide exactly what the scar is, but it's uh, somewhere that it can't be concealed easily. Cool. He stabbed me in the fucking cheek. Cool. <laughs> Alright. I'm the Joker, baby. Oh, but now I got these scars. The Joker, baby. <laughs> I got shanked in an alleyway. Yes. Anyway, yeah. I'm unconscious. You sure are. I'll join you in this guy's turn, probably now. Okay. It's mummy time. Oh, wait, yeah, that's true. <laughs> that is true, yes, mummy time. Thanks oh. you for reminding us. Morbin time! It truly do be that Morbin time. Um, as Okay, so... Whenever you reduce to zero hit points, you don't form conscious. Instead, the linen wraps extend, causing you to become mummified and allowing you to fight on. Each time you take damage, your hit point maximum is reduced by the damage it would have taken had you had the hit point. Mm -hmm. So, you are back with a temporary 17 hit points. Yep. Yep. It's aura some time. Okay. Uh, this guy. Alex, make me call Hero Forger and me as mummy. I actually tried that last week. Uh, there's not a lot, a lot of bandage options, really. I'm sure I Alex can would. probably work something out. Uh, I believe 14 will miss you, Gore. Yes. Cool. Sick. Hey, for on your turn. Okay. I'm gonna... Oh, I'm gonna hit this boy. Target's not working. There we go. Nice. And then my divine smite. Ooh. Hey, um. Hey, um. Very nice. That's the power of him. He's still standing, but he don't look too hot. He's still standing. God damn. God damn. This guy's tough. Are you turn? Yeah. This is turn. He's gonna try and short swad you, Gore. 23. Swad. That hits, right? Yep. 
You take four whole damage. Oof. Then he'll go for a second attack, and that one will miss. Alright, and then this is turn. He's going to target Apollo. He's going to use his move action to drop his crossbow on the floor. And he's going to try and short sword you. It's nice knowing y'all. Uh, 20 hits you, I believe. It does. Alright, take 8 points of damage. I'm dead. Well, you're, you're unconscious. Dead. Yeah, that. Alright, go, your turn. Okay. Um. Try and what? That will hit. Okay, I'm gonna use fracture on this one. <laughs> Fucking yikes. Okay. That is so it unfortunate. He takes one damage, I regain one. <laughs> um but then Wait, he does three, no? No, because uh, my fracture halves the damage basically. <laughs> So I get I get half the damage as healing, uh, but he does take an extra sick one <laughs> point of damage from the crimson right. Oof! Oof! Ow! That hurt, Charlie. Go a bit me. Should I apply the healing? Yeah, go for it. The one. Yeah, every little bit helps. Still one extra. <laughs> yeah. Alright, that your turn? Yep. Alright, mummy, your turn. Cool. So I got stabbed in the fucking cheek. Mm hmm. And then the mummy tendrils came out from, I assume, the wound. Uh, it, uh, it, it comes maybe. from your glove, actually, and then wraps around oh, your okay. body. It comes from the glove. Yeah. Uh, anyway, and then I pull away. From the knife, which uh, which opens up my my mouth hole, so I can talk. I'm not gonna say anything though. I'm just gonna stab him. Okay. I just think it's cool. Distraction. And I whap. That hits. Nice. Nice. Mm. Is he still up? He is still up. Okay, I would like to use my bonus action to action surge. Action surge is not a bonus action. I believe it is. It just says the special action. It's not qualified as, because otherwise I couldn't have action surged last round. Yeah, sorry, just... second winding is the bonus action. As yeah. As we can... Anyway, I'll just uh, action surge. Okay. Yeah, another action. Whap him again. That hits. That's a kill. Excellent. Sick. That is my go. Polo, death save, please. Don't forget to... Oh, have I been private rolling all my rolls? Yes. Oh, yes. For like three or four rounds now. Oh. Uh, sorry, Apollo, we don't use that optional rule. Because the flip side of that optional rule is that ones count as two death fails. So. Okay. Yeah, you're still unconscious, but it's one success. Uh, so, I've amended your character sheet. No, you've been privately rolling your rolls for like the past couple of sessions, Callum. Oh, I'm pretty sure I did that for when we were death saving. Yeah, about three or four sessions we ago. I think it was when the ghost took you and down and you started forgot. doing it. Yeah, I forgot to turn it off. It's fine. It's not been a bother for me. I assumed you were doing it intentionally. This. Um, <laughs> Alright, this spy is going to try and attack you, Ephron. 
An 18, will that hit you? Yeah. Okay, you take okay. 7 points of damage. Okay. And then his second attack. Does a 15 hit you? No. Okay. Okay, this guy is going to try and attack you, Jericho. Mm-hmm. Does a 20 hit you? It do. Okay, you take three points of damage. Okay. And then his second attack. Does a 21 hit you? Yeah, it does, but I am going to use my reaction to cast shield. Okay. Then the uh, sword bounces off the shield. Okay, this guy is going to target you once again. Go with his crossbow. Uh huh. Does a 23 hit you? Yep. Okay, you take seven like points we of damage. Star Wars earlier than we thought. <laughs> If we're on your turn. Okay. Uh... That hits. That's enough to kill. And then... Well, it's his turn, and uh, he's going to try and attack Gore again. Does an 18 hit you, Gore? Yes. This is unfortunate. You take 7 points of damage. I do be down, though. Okay. Uh, this spy is going to take a full action, picking up his crossbow and reloading it to point it at Aphron. Gore, death save, please. Okie dokie. Um, I'd like to do my attack of opportunity as well, when he's done that. Oh, right, yeah. <laughs> uh, it's a shame we're not doing that optional rule. <laughs> yeah. Because if so, both of you would have been back up by this point. Um, yeah, sorry. Forgot about that, Tommy. Sorry. Um, nice. Nice. 22 damage. You behead this guy. So you as, hurt my friend! As he stabs Gore <laughs> and Gore keels over, you just do like a whirlwind swing and just, yeah, take his head off. You hurt my friend. Also, you guys had kids, right? <laughs> I mean, that guy was like 17, so <laughs> yeah. he was the kid. You never know. They uh, got it on quite early back in, you know, medieval type times. <laughs> Which this is not, because it's a fantasy setting. <laughs> There's no such thing as medieval times in the fantasy setting, it just is times. <laughs> well. Jericho, your turn. Okay. Kind of in a do or die situation at the moment, so. Oops, I accidentally cooked that twice, but it's fine. Nice, that hits. Sick damage, mm. bro. Damage. Is that your turn? <laughs> Polo, death save, please. Uh, um, yeah, another net 20, maybe? Perhaps? Yeah, it would be pretty funny if you got one. No, you got another success. No, okay, cool. I'll take that. Okay. This guy's gonna try and attack you, Jericho. Mm hmm. A 12 will miss you. Mm hmm. But a nat 20 will hit you. Yeah, it will. Getting that 
20 to get. You take six whole damage. My max health ain't looking too good now. Twenty-three will hit you, Ephron. Yes. That this is, is bad. Eight points of damage. Ephron, you're unconscious. Yes. Ephron, death save, please. Oh my god! <laughs> We're all dying. Well, good luck, Jericho. Okay. Oh, that wasn't supposed to be targeting Aphron anymore, but oh well. Uh, 18 will miss you, I believe. Yes. Okay. And then a 14 will miss you. Yes. Okay. You hear the clang, 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 or what seems to be like a kettlebell being rang. Okay. But I'm still Morbin, so. It's not your turn just yet. Ah! Go, death save, please. Morbin. Okay. Cool. Since it wasn't your turn, uh, Jericho, do you want to take that roll again? Sure. Which would be on that one instead. Still Morbin. That hits. Hey. Good job, buddy. We got this. Question, Pete. How would second window work again? Work in the situation. Uh, it would increase your actual hit points, I'd assume. Mm, okay, but I'd still only have up to a max of eight. Mm. And if I do go down again. Yeah. Mm. But you'd also still okay. have your 10 hit points. Mm. Okay, well, that's my turn, so... Okay, Apollo, death save, please. Um... Watch this. And no success, I can smell it. Alright, Apollo stable. Hey! Okay, this guy gets a nat 1. Uh, Jericho, you... Duck out of the way while uh, moving your trident in such a way to cause this guy's swing to carry on to his buddy. It misses his buddy, but yeah, that's his turn. Okay. This guy's going to try and shoot you with a crossbow, though. Does a 19 hit you? Jericho. Yeah. Does a 19 hit you? Yeah. Oh, okay. Cool. That meets. Uh, okay. <laughs> uh, you're taking over three points of damage then. Okay. Very pog. A4 on death save, please. So 19 will hit you. 
Did they get a minus you... for a proximity combat? No. I thought that was a thing. They're in melee. They hit him with melee. Oh, buddy. Was it... Was it five? Two? Okay. Grab them! You hear from behind you, Jericho. Sometimes the police can be a good thing, I guess. I say, with gritted teeth. <laughs> As one of them rounds the corner, he says, Uh, Captain? One of the uh, assailants appears to be a, a, a mummy, sir. He's going to chuck his spear at this guy. That hits. Hey, yo. Go cool. death save, please. Okay. Hooray. Okay, this one's going to chuck his spear as well. That'll hit. Jericho, your turn. Okay. I do the weapon. Trident. What? Okay, that hits. Okay. Okay. Now you turn. Yeah. Polo, you're stable. The guards are gonna like walk up to uh, Jericho and be like, You're a mummy? And he'll be like, No, no, I'm just horribly disfigured. And he'll just like <laughs> show his scar on his cheek. <laughs> <laughs> Horribly yeah, disfigured. All these bandages just for my cheek. Yep. Seems about right. 12 and a 7 will miss. Okay, this one's gonna run up. He's going to drop his crossbow and try and attack this guard. That'll hit. And that'll hit. Trust me, officer. I'm the good guy. This guard <laughs> is fucking dead. Oh. What if? Bye. What? Bye. That's what you get when you let your heart win. Mm -hmm. 
Officer down! Officer down! Shouts one of the guards. A front here. Death save, please. Yep. Alright. I love to think that, like, all of these rounds are happening so quickly. So, like, from a perspective of uh, what happened to me and Tom, like, I went down, the guy was like, yeah, and then he immediately got decapitated, and then Aetheron <laughs> was like, yeah, don't hurt my friend, and then he immediately just kills over. <laughs> yep, basically. <laughs> um... All right. Uh, this one's going to make a run for this guard. So if you want, you can have an attack of opportunity. Uh, it's up to you, Jericho. Jericho? Yeah. Do you want to take an attack of opportunity? Yes. All right. This boy, right? That'll hit. Okay. Go, cool, you're stable. Yep. This gun's gonna pull the spear out of the uh, guy who just run over to him and attack him again. Jericho, your turn. Okay. I hit this boy. Okay, you get attack of, uh, not attack of opportunity, so you get advantage. I get the advantage. That hits. I do the damage. You kill him. I stab the guy. Stabber. Cool. Now you turn. Yeah. I Close. look at the officers and I say, good job. Well, Apollo is stable. This guard's going to continue running and he's going to uppercut you, or try and uppercut you, with uh, the staff of his spear. Um. 22 hits you, I believe. Yes. Good. You take non-lethal damage, so it doesn't kill you. As you get okay. uppercutted in the jaw and fall unconscious. Okay. Okay. And the mummy wraps unwrap from you. Okay. The last thing you hear is your consciousness just fades out. Just, that's it, fucking weird. It It's still... Okay. No, it's non-lethal. Alright. Just the way it's worded is very strange. The way it's worded says if you go down to zero hit points or something, I believe. It says if you're reduced to zero hit points, you don't fall unconscious. Yeah. So it's even if you, you know, get brought to unconsciousness. I the way I'm interpreting that is that it's written with the intent of most people don't do most NPCs don't do non lethal damage. Okay. Take it, Callum. God damn it. Well, well I'm just Yeah. You know me, I'm a stickler for the word. It's homebrew. It's him being knocked out count as a long rest, though. He'll get a long <laughs> rest by the time he wakes up. <laughs> oh boy, more than two max health. Sick. Because that's what I would have been on if I didn't. Mm hmm. And you already rolled shit for your health, so you know. Oh, was it the session? I say, yeah, I'll take the one health. Yeah, off. exactly. Yeah, that's I was I thinking about that. Well, fuck me, I guess. Well, Kringe. random encounters, sometimes they do be a bitch. Yeah. That was just 2d6 of, uh, of 
of of uh, beggars. <laughs> Van. Why do beggars have multi attack? What the fuck? Because they're spies. That's the stat block. Yeah, they're what spies. It what it told me to do. You know, you live by the blade, you die by the blade. They no, also, not, uh, also the, have over 25 health. They're technically not uh, spies uh, or beggars. They're technically uh, pickpockets disguised as beggars. Bruh. Oh. Well. <laughs> hey, do you want some XP? Yeah. Yeah. Gonna get a good old 30 XP. <laughs> 30. Okay, you all get 750 XP. Oh, and we're at two thousand seven hundred twenty. <laughs> yeah, I mean the surviving of the of the hurricane was pretty dope. Oh wait, we're at level four. Wait, 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 wait. What? How? Yep. Wait, how much did we get? Seven hundred fifty. Oh shit! Okay, we're at level four. Two thousand seven hundred twenty, baby. Baby, one more level and I get double tech. So it's a spaz now. Get a little feety boy. I don't like it when you say it that way. <laughs> I think Tommy really likes it when you say it that way. No, yeah, no, I, th I think no, I'm going to continue saying it that way. Oh, I shouldn't have said it. Just, just for Tom. Also, hey, Leo, thank you. Thank you for stopping by and appreciate the compliment. Um, sorry I didn't respond earlier. I tend to ignore chat while streaming D&D because I'm an awful streamer. But a good DM. So, Alright, that's the session. Yo. We did it. We survived. Oh. I literally realized the other week, uh, Calm, that we have had the ability to do that for months and none of us have ever done that during a D&D stream. Wow. <laughs> as long as it's a stream, there's a certain emote that we're not allowed to use that for. And don't you fucking dare do it. Genuinely, <laughs> seriously, I might get banned for it, so. It's the Cal Punk. It, it, it is definitely not a Thanos one. Alright. Alright, cool. Thank you everyone for stopping by. Hope you all enjoyed. We'll be back probably next week with some more probably D&D. &D. Um, who knows? Maybe maybe we'll suddenly change to Pathfinder for no reason. Couldn't, couldn't, couldn't tell you why. Um, yeah. Nice zooming of the camera there, Tommy. Wait, what? I said Mike moved, Mike moved to Pathfinder for no reason whatsoever, and you literally did this. <laughs> I'm looking at my other monitor. <laughs> Alright, we're going to call it here, though. Thank you, everyone, for stopping by. I hope you all enjoyed the stream. Hope you have a wonderful evening, day, week, month, year. That. Uh, Good night, good luck. Um, wear a condom. Or don't. Bye bye. It's up to you. Mm. Alright, bye. Bye. Goodbye. Bye.